football culture movement. Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of F. CM Football Culture Movement. You already know what time it is. Got myself, my Kodri, the host with the most. To my left, I'm in a different position this week because obviously Fuad is sick, but we're holding it down. Runner. <laughs> Runner. Hey. On the side, we've got culture, cams, <laughs> the sick. cult hero, and of course, production. You're not production today, you are Leah's. We've got two three point collectors on that come side. Come on. Hey, it's a good day, mate. Bro, honestly, yeah, every, every, you, every mate. time I come on here, Three point collector, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here to lose. Only, only in the good times, eh? Yeah, when yeah, it's the bad times, mm. you don't want to come on the board. Mm. Mm. But listen, before we go any further, like, share, subscribe, algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Sure. You know what time it is, man. Flood it in, flood it in. Listen, the game has finished. This is Sunday Night Entertainment. We are about to raise the roof like Triple H did with CM Punk, mm. which was amazing. Hey, listen, man. Like, share, subscribe. Right, grown, ma- grown men doing WWE. Listen, man, hunters, crazy. hunters are real, that's real men. Real, real men, men real, real men watch <laughs> WWE. Honestly, but before we get into it, Quickly, let's um, pay respects to another real man, Terry Venables, R.I.P. R.I.P. That's a real man. R.I.P. 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 Um, condolences to his family. Um, but let's get into this episode, man. Listen, if your team played this weekend and managed to overcome the obstacle in front of them mm. and collect three points, hold tight the three point. Oh, 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 feels good. Oh, oh, oh. I love that. All right. hey, hey. Yes, sir. Look at that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Listen, man. Hold tight the participants as well. Hold tight the teams that were getting slapped up away. Um, <laughs> hold tight the teams that have gone top of the league. Yes. Hold tight the teams that are making an interest in the league. We've got a lot to get into and, you know, our standard amount of time, but we're going to try and fly through some stuff, have some interesting conversations. But let's start with the game that we just watched. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Everton, Manchester United. Shri? Shri, no? Three. 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 Three for me? Treat for you. <laughs> um, let's not be around the bush, man. That goal. That goal. Alejandro Ganacho. When when the ball touched the net, because obviously I met you guys here. Mm-hmm. What was the what was the reaction? Bro, I screamed. I was waiting for my train to come. I screamed. I'm Bro, like, public. I screamed. I was running. I, I started running. My slipper fell off. You know. I was running, bro. I was running, fam. You know when I don't even have a destination, bro. I'm just running, bro. You know when you just run like Temple Run, bro. Just, I'm, just, I'm just running, bro. I'm, start, I'm, I'm weaving the desks. I'm weaving the chairs, bro. I ended up in the kitchen, bro. How? No. Yo, Ganacho, bro. Wow. Special. That was wow. A, a, a special finish. I mean, ultimately, the first thing everyone said was, you know, it's better than Rooney. It's this and that. And we had this conversation off mic, but. Quickly, let's quickly go into it before we go into the game. In terms of bicycle kicks, mm-hmm. the actual bicycle, not the one that Messi did where his hands were on the floor. Yeah. The actual, an actual... Listen, we're talking athletes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't include Messi in athletic <laughs> discussions. You get me? So you stick to the close control <laughs> yeah. thing. When it's the yeah. athleticism, athleticism, athleticism in the air. Bro, yeah. So let's say we've got Garnacho. Mm-hmm. You'd put Rooney in there. Or Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo's Bale. one. Bale. Gareth Bell. Zlatan. 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 Mm. Yeah. How would you rank those? It depends how you want to rank them, right? Because there's occasion as well, too, when it comes 100%. into it, right? Like, Rooney's, for example, is probably in terms of, like, the technique, the worst, because he, like, shins it. Yeah, but yeah. when you think of the, the okay. moment and, and yeah. the occasion, it's huge. Yeah. And then when you talk about Zlatan, it was a friendly against England, but it's probably yeah. the, the greatest in terms of actual mm. quality. So, yeah. I think when you kind of want to mix both of them, I mean, CR7s is crazy, bro. Mm. The technique of CR7s was nuts, bro. Like a ballerina. Nuts, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. But he's been he be he be trying that though. Mm. That, that's the thing too, right? Garnacho to have a goal like this on his resume at 19, 18, 19 years old is nuts. Like Ronaldo, Rooney, like they they took years to finally get that one. Yeah. So I'm happy for Garnacho. And the thing with the Garnacho one as well is the reason why I respect the goal so much is in the when typically when you see a basketball kick, mm. it's contested by defenders and whatnot because it's like it's the only option you have there. So I'm gonna try and put you off. There was no one near him because. Like, when have you ever taken that shot before? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> have you worked that <laughs> shot? <laughs> have you worked that shot? <laughs> you worked that <laughs> shot? So, so to pull it off was insane. And it's just ironic that, you know, Everton, you know, Goodison Park, amped up, we're going to make noise. And then within three minutes, yeah. you have to hold that. And it, it's just the silence of it as well. To be honest, I think um, technique wise, it's crazy. I think it's the best one. Really? You know what I mean? I think it's the best one. Now, are we including, okay, wait, Zlatan's is, 
is it's nuts. Zlatan's is from a different. Zlatan's is probably the best one, right? Yeah. But this one, let's say inbox, yeah. inbox, in the box. <laughs> overhead kicks, yeah. right, bro? I think it's the best one. Like you looking at the way, like bro, the ball was crossed. Yeah, he takes three steps or three, four steps. Boom, boom, boom. Then jumps in the air. It goes across. And it's the fact that you just watched it go in at the right power. And you guys go remember this guy's he's short, bro. Yeah. He has to get some leap on that, bro. Like Ronaldo and Bale are They're two athletes. serious yeah. athletes, bro. Yeah. You did not see that coming from Ganacho. Like yeah. it was so clean. It hit the boot. It went across the celebration, hit the suit. Uh, hey, listen, I can't I think lie, nah, he needs a celebration. Nah, no, nah, that, that was lit. That was lit. Pay <laughs> respect, man. If he did some bro. little no, it's not no, like but that. He, he did the sound on the course. You'll be loving it, it. First of all, I, I got no problem if he wants to do that. You know, I'll praise <laughs> the guy. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Se- secondly, hey, come on, bro. I, I get Ronaldo's this guy, right? Yeah. And like, it's a gr- in fact, like the, the still, if you want to look at it, they look mm-hmm. identical. They look identical, but, bro. Come on, bro. Be your own man, that bro. Was, like, yeah, well, how about when Messi was doing <laughs> Hands of Gods, man, begging it in that? Wait, what? When he was begging <laughs> it, man. No, no, no. Love it. Love it. When man are doing their begs, they like it, innit? Ganacho. He's paying his ah, respect. Different, He's bro, paying relax. his respect to his goal. You yeah, get me? Yeah, remember, yeah. remember Messi did that that goal that was at Maradona's v England. Yeah. That was his moment. Like, yeah, yeah I'm the Maradona. No, that, that bit I love. I'm talking about the celebration purely, no, no, but don't yeah, try, no. don't try and, and go. Yeah, off yeah. Well, Messi ran to the corner exactly like Maradona did. He's oh, begging it, bro. Oh. Don't try it, bro. He's begging uh, it. Either way, same it, corner he ran to like this, this at Maradona. Is, don't don't try Ronaldo when he did his. You know what he did? He just went to the camera and just like looked. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm him. Yeah, but like, he's my moment. He had like 10 ballon doors by that point, right, man. Fair. So, I mean, the guy's like you said, he's a young, young guy, man. But I mean, let us know what you think. Can I say this one thing Go about on. Garnacho as well, too? I think <sighs> that goal speaks to, Gar- speaks to him in particular. Because mm. one thing I always say about Garnacho, my favorite trait of his at this current moment in his career isn't actually a te- technical one or even an athletic one. He's got, I think it's his like he's bravery, tenacious. bro. No, it's not even his tenacity, bro. Garnacho, I always say, has balls, man. For a kid that young, bro, he he know like he has no fear whatsoever. He That's thinks what, he's him. He he mm. buys into his own stock so mm. much and like to a point that I think it gets him into these kinds of moments. Like Garnacho is one of the few players of, at his age that would actually even try something like that. Yeah. So mm. massive credit yeah, to him. Yeah, he, he try he tries things like yeah. bro, that's the thing. Bro, we've said it many times, right? We've seen many players come and go at Man United, right? 100%. And the thing about it, we always say is the the players, there's, you have to believe you're, you're, you should be on this stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people come and they look like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing They're here. They're happy to be there. But some people walk into there and just say, do you know what? I, I belong here. This is my show. Yeah, I mean, this is my show. We've seen it like Cantona. Is it? <coughs> Credit to Bruno. He came yeah. in and he had that mentality yeah. as well. That's why he's one of our better signings over yeah, the last yeah. couple of years. you got to walk into Man United and believe it, especially mm-hmm. a club that's in so much turmoil yeah. all the time. Yeah. you got to believe like you look with all due respect you look at the the the, the kind of difference in confidence and mentality between a palestri yeah. and a ganacho yeah, it's yeah. night and day yeah. people are saying gonna palestri is this talent blah 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 yeah. but he doesn't i don't you don't i look at him and i think he he looks like a, a young kid yeah. ganacho looks like well i should be here anyway yeah. so even if i mess up it don't matter i want to so give him that credit i want to use this as like a perfect segue because obviously we need to talk about the game another young player that came into this team and made it look like his team today mm-hmm is the player that people have been waiting for. Mm-hmm. They've been saying that he needs his opportunity, that the old guys need to step aside. Kobe Mayno. Mm. Talk to me about his performance, especially because if you haven't seen it, go and check out, um, both of you did a video this week talking about where United are going to mm. go, and you mentioned young players. Talk to me about what you thought about his performance in particular mm. and what that did for the team today. Bro, he's the, he's the best player to ever live, no. isn't he? <laughs> hey, he might be. <laughs> We've got the best player of all time. Facts. It's crazy. Nah, Black nah. Like Carrington, they did it again. Bro, they did it again. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You a genius, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. In all honesty, like, bro... Look, a lot of people, you know, we've been, we've been calling him to play. Like, we saw him in preseason. And if anyone watches the Maynard Academy, this is something that's been raved about a lot. You know what I mean? You look at him, he looks always looks above his years. Mm. That's the one thing about Kobe Mainu when he plays, yeah? When he plays with the under-17s, when he plays with the under-19s, under-21s, he looks older than all of them. Mm. And you heard Gary Neville on commentary today. Hold on, which one is the senior play- player out there? <laughs> and it looked like it was Kobe Mainu, bro. 18 years old. And one thing I always say about wonder kids, when people talk about wonder kids and all this type of stuff, they're not often centre midfielders. Not all the time. Not in the Premier League anyway. Mm. We've had Cesc Fabregas. We've had Jack Wilshere. And then you're like, mm, who was them 18, 19? It's, it's rare that you get them in centre midfield in the Premier League. You know what I mean? And now we're not saying he's going to go on and be Cesc Fabregas. We'll see what happens. But the composure, the... It's Goodison, you know? 
Goodison's not hard, it's not an easy place to nah, go. Nah, We've nah, said nah, this. Yeah. We've seen some not today, serious not players. Today well. Torre, Onana, like big yeah. guys in there. Onana didn't yeah. play today, but... Yeah, yeah. but you're talking cool. about like physique. Like, exactly. You, you, Calvert, yeah, you, big guys. Bro. Yeah, so you've seen better players go to, to Everton and That's crumble. And he had the composure, the first touch, the second touch. Let's not sleep on the defensive contribution too. Mm. The ability to drive through the midfield when needed. Just popped up on the wing one time, put in an across. Mm. He just looked again. We're talking about somebody that thinks I belong here. That's Kobe Mainu. And I don't even want to just talk about his mentality, his ability. His ability shone through today. You could see it. And I said, he's putting McTominay and Bruno to shame here. Mm. He's the one that wants the ball. Yeah. He's looking around. Sure. like I saw him at one point kind of directing them. Mm. I'm like, right, he's moving like Jorginho at Chelsea. He's directing <gasps> the, the midfield. It's, it's unbelievable. So hopefully, but look, we know it's Man United. It's social media era. The hype's going to go crazy. Mm. There's probably going to be 50 accounts made of him now. Kobe Maynard season. Yeah, Maynard yeah. era and all this type of stuff. <laughs> we know that's going to happen. Yeah. But hopefully he's got the right people around him. Keeps his yeah. feet grounded. We've got Galatasaray away next. Yeah. We've got Newcastle away. We've got Chelsea at home. Mm. These ain't easy games. And if he's going to come into these fixtures, we're going to need him at what, the best. Thing, yeah, to add on to that as well, too, go back to the Garnacho point, right? To play for a club of Man United standard, it's not even just about the talent that you possess. You need to have a certain personality to you. And we'll talk about how good he is on the ball because he was showing one-touch passing, uh, line-breaking passes, stuff that we're like begging to see from guys like McTominay in his like eighth season at the club. He's already showing you that. But more so than that, it's like his bravery and like his insistence that he always wants to get on the ball. He's showing uh, himself in possession. I thought today See was... defensive work 100%, as well. 100%, the, the clearance the, off the line. The Honestly, the line that's, like, that's like a top midfield performance for an 18-year-old. And you talk about hopefully he has the right people around him and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I don't know the guy, right? But just from the performance that he gives and the maturity that he shows on mm -hmm. the pitch, he looks like a guy who has like a, a, a steady head yeah. on his shoulders. So in what, the, in the chat, in the chat, obviously you, you, I don't know if you man are reading the chat or anything. Has anybody got any um, suggestions of 18 year olds in the Premier League we centre midfielders? Rico Lewis last season. Rico. Yeah, yeah I can, I can, I can in the Premier League? In the Premier League. In the Premier League. When I, it's, Rico, that's a good one, shout out. One of performances or just... No, no, general. no. Like how many 18 year old proper center midfielders yeah. like have we have you seen in the bias it um yeah, do do i was gonna say reese yeah. reese oxford that that game is one mm, that everyone's gonna remember that's a fault that's, well, that's this a could one be a one-off one though that's what yeah, no no that's if yeah, we're gonna yeah. one game everyone remembers that reese oxford mm -hmm. one that's one that comes but i'm more talking about that have gone on from oh no i'm not talking about like just an 18 year old i'm talking about 18 year olds that come in and then have gone on to have Elite careers, like even Skulls was 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 guarded um, <coughs> by Ferguson very early and stuff. You have, talking about you have his to remember size stuff, you know what, I mean? what I wanted to, to quickly say about United. Is, Gerard was playing right back here when he yeah. came through. With with United, right? If you think about it, up until today, the full line is something that's not been reliable. The centre half, everyone was like, it's too shaky. The middle of the park, what's going on? Your control rooms didn't give you a sense of control, and it kind of shows why United play in such a frantic way. He's come in and he's shown what he can do. Mm -hmm. I think where United fans are probably like, you know, will show a bit of frustration is Hannibal had a good game and then you didn't see him afterwards. Mm. Man who's come and done didn't have a game now. like this. No, not, no, I'm, I'm saying that he came yeah. and he showed something we didn't see him. Yeah. Now Ten Hag has to bottle these performances and be like, listen, you guys can bring something that mm. I'm not seeing, be brave and help it progress. Because like you said, relying on a central midfielder for a top club to be that young is mm. very difficult. But if you're good enough, you're old if enough. You're enough you're and, old you can be, and you can be protected as well. Thousand percent. You, you look, for example, I, we were talking about Arsenal the other day in yeah. terms of like when Arteta was kind of in a rut or whatever mm. in his process or whatever. Mm. Who was it that really stepped mm. up? Mm. It was the kids. So I understand you don't want to throw these people into high <laughs> pressure situations, right? Mm. We've seen, for example, with Rashford and Martial, we relied on them for so much. Yeah. It may have stunted their development at the end of the yeah. day. Mm. But also, the cream always rises to the top, bro. Yeah. If you're yeah. good enough, you will make an yeah. impact at that level. And Ten Hag has given opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to Casemiro, yeah. Amrabat, Eriksen, McTominay, yeah. Bruno. None of them have been able to show you, okay, we have to be in this team. Yeah. If that's the case, start looking at the bench, yeah. start looking at some of yeah. the I've, so, I've, 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 I've always said youth, brother. I always say, like, when it goes wrong, sometimes you've got to look, look at your youth. I've yeah. always said, my United's younger players in our academy and stuff, if you actually look at our academy, our academy have more technical players than our first team. Mm. Do you know what I'm nice. trying to say? It has more players that want to get on the ball. you got... You got Dan Gore, you got um, Kobe Mainu, you got Hanson, you got people that want to get on the ball and make things happen. Look, okay, I know it's the Premier League, but you look elsewhere. We saw when Barcelona and Iraq, Gavi, 
Pedri. Pedri. You know what I mean? How, how many uh, Drew Bellingham goes to um, Dortmund, does his thing, goes to Real Madrid, does his thing. It doesn't doesn't really matter. If you're good enough, you're old enough. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be them. We'll see. We'll hope that he can go on to be that but level. We, but we you're talking about, you to need to, sometimes you do need to go to your youth. You do need mm. to go to these Especially players and, like and rely, and rely right? on that's, them. That's in the, the history of this yeah. club. I don't want to make everything history, history, history. But you look throughout <coughs> United's uh, history, mm -hmm. They have gone to the bench and looked from within, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. whether it's the class of '92, whether it's a guy like Makeda coming on mm -hmm. and giving you a spark at the end of the season, mm -hmm. this club's heritage is built off giving I'm, you a yeah. chance. I'm glad you mentioned spark because ultimately, let's get to the rule that like, Nooks and Crowley's this conversation. United are sixth in the league. They're two points behind Spurs because Spurs have lost three games on the bounce. I ask four, you, four points behind third. Right? Four points yeah. behind third. I remember we had that conversation where I said, "Do you think you guys can creep up or whatnot?" You guys have not drawn a game this season. Mm. You've won mm. eight, lost five, zero draws. Mm. Your goal difference is neutral now. <laughs> Where you are right now going into December, based on what you've seen today and everything, if Ten Hag does things properly, the front, the front line seems to be scoring goals now, is there an opportunity that he <laughs> can nice really... They got goals. one goal. For <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there an opportunity that they can he can actually turn this ship around? Because what? the thing with United is there's always going to be a lot of conversation. There's always going to be a lot of clamour because United are United. They're always on the Jumbotron. There's always speculation. There's always news outlets saying stuff. But the position you're in is not a precarious one. The season is still in front of you. What does he have to do in this moment to make sure that this season can still be a good season for United. Look, I've been very critical of United this season. Mm. I think everyone knows that. But I think one thing I've always been uh, consistent with as well is that I've always said there's still a chance United can finish in the top four this year, even top five if that's what it takes to make the Champions League. Mm. The quality of the Premier League, in my opinion, this season is not the same as it was last year. Mm. So it, it's not really a what? surprise. No, for me, it's not. Last what season... Is it's La better last year. I think it was. I, it, what? You were even saying the, the Premier, Premier League sucks, bro. What are you talking about? Last season, the Premier League super. Every game is a tough game. Nah, nah. I think every game is still a tough game. Nah, in now. I, I don't think so. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Bright, you see Chelsea? Okay, Chelsea still stinks. Chelsea still stinks. Yeah. Still <laughs> Brighton was <laughs> first stunk. Hey, I'm, I'm in the room. Liverpool stunk. Hold on. Oh, well, yo, let me, go let me on. finish. I, I think, first of all, the, the bottom three teams that came up are a lot worse than the last season. They're some of the worst teams we've Brighton ever seen. Brighton last season were like a tough, tough game. I just think Brighton's it, this season still tough? Bro, Brighton have just won their first game since September. Yeah, Brighton cooked tough. Brighton just won. Brighton cooked tough. Brighton cooked tough. <laughs> that's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, no. anyways, that, that's not the, the, the larger point is the, the league is still there that mm. if you go on a run of games, you yeah. can find yourself in those positions. And to be honest, in the Premier League, you look at it, at the end of the season, the top four race is usually who's the least worst out of, out of these four teams. Now, mm. I'll know if the Prem really stinks if Luton stay up. If Luton stay up... They fold, might stay up, bro. If, if Luton might do stay it. up, fold this, they, <laughs> fold this division. They might stay up. If Luton stay up, fold this division. <laughs> That's when I'm like, yo, you know what? I, I'm gonna be. You're gonna catch me watching La Liga. You know? I'll be a La Liga expert. People bro. are saying they think this is the the best the league has been in years. You guys agree with that? I disagree. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. The, I don't think it's the best the league has been in years. But what, what in I'll, terms of wait, hold on. In terms of it depends how you're looking at it. I do think the three teams that came up were poor. Yeah. I still do think every game really is a is a tough game. I would say still. even Fulham last but, year were tougher. Brentford last year were better than they were this but season. Brentford are in the same position. Nah, they were. Last, last season year, they were better. Man, last on. season they were a lot better. They just gave Arsenal a slugger, man. Bro, and they, but look. <laughs> Where they are in the league, they've lost yeah, a lot of games this Everton season, bro. Lears. But that's my point. Last season they had Ivan Tony, yeah, this but, year they but, don't. But look, look, look. last year Fulham had Mitrovic, this year they yeah, don't. Yeah, but this <laughs> season, yeah, yeah, hold on. But in this season, you got Liverpool resurgence. Fair. Spurs are better. Okay. Yes. Spurs are better. Yeah, United are worse. Who then last season? Oh, yeah, I, to be fair, the same, on form, bro. actually, they're, they're Listen, not the what, 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 what I would say about this is. The West Ham are both. West Ham this year, they started okay. They've been poor. But what I would say is, I feel like ultimately sometimes when people say better, like something can be competitive and it's still shitter. It's worse. I think the mm. competitiveness amongst teams it's good. is increasing. Yeah. But the quality of the league That's is That's what is, I mean. Is, Thank is, you. Is, I think is, last season's quality not was great. better. Me Because if you think about yeah. the competitiveness now, we've got Arsenal that have managed to go top of the league because the two teams that we're going to speak about next drew. You've got Newcastle that are competing across different fronts and there. You've got Spurs that can run and then disappear. And then all of those little teams that can flirt for eighth and ninth are trying to push higher. So the, there's more competitiveness. But when you look at the but quality you, of what you're watching, you're Villa. like... Villa, no, last, Villa, much are just, Villa, Villa are just carrying off where they were last season. Yeah, bro. yeah but they're, they're much tremendous. better this year, though. Are, are they're in the top four. Okay, but hold on. The, the reason they were in the top four last year is because <coughs> Gerard basically had them yeah, sticking for Steve two months, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. season had finished when Emery took over, they would have been in the top yeah. four. Yeah, but let's um let's round up this United um Evan chat and go into some super chats. Um, of course, um, we need to talk about some of them stinkers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was that's some stinkers saying. out there. There was some good stuff, but we have to address the elephant in the room. Yeah, so you said that certain man looks like like CR7. Certain mm. other man got highlights and they didn't mm. look like you get me. Yeah, I don't, bro. Like, it's this is the thing though. You, it's it's beyond. You know, there comes moments we talk about form. You know, what I mean, and obviously, look, 
if somebody, what is somebody, what do they, what was that, what's that, that phrase? Fool me once, something, something. Shame fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, yeah, yeah. You're going to say it properly. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Yeah. And th- that is, that is where it is about Marcus Rashford, isn't it? Yeah. That, that is really where it is about Rashford. You know, yeah, you know, all right, shame me once, uh, I'm going to give you leeway. All right, twice, brother, come on. <laughs> Third time, hey, it's over. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's before. when you get this over text, you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Honestly, like, this guy... This guy, his performance today, listen, I'm happy. Credit to Bruno for giving the penalty. Um, I think that was good captain leadership. Poor performance, in my opinion, still from Bruno. But when you look at Marcus Rashford, how many times are we going to have to like come and give excuses and say this? And, and then everyone's doing the, he's back. He's got his girl back. Come on, man. We're all big people out here. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Because I genuinely think people believe that. Yeah. I genuinely pe- think people think it's tied probably to his girlfriend or something. And if it is, he's banging judge. When are we gonna get into that part? <laughs> when we, what he don't score goals when he's when he when he's not in a race, he's banging judge. They, that's yeah, that's what it is. Mm, the Pogba what, influence. The plot, what are we bro. talking about? The Pogba influence. The judge. That's mm. that's the reality. But let's not talk about that. Yeah. Him mm. on his form, like we saw this form under the last season of Oli when he went into Ragnik, mm. and we were like, okay, cool. In the next season, he did his thing. We can't keep having this yo-yo moments. You're going into your prime. You know what I mean? You're 25, 26, it might even be 26, 25, 26, going into your prime years. These are the years where all these players that we talk about as legends of the game became legends. This is when Mo Salah said, yeah, all right, put me in the history books. This is when Sadio Mane, this is when Raheem Sterling, all these guys, this is when they really kick on. Mm. You can impress, you can do the yo-yo thing at 20, 21, 22. It's all cute, you know what I mean? But when you get to 25, 26, up until about 31, you've got to be one of the best players. If, especially if you're at Man United and you're earning the money you are. You've got to be one of the best players. You know what I mean? We see it with everyone. KDB, all these guys. These are the, the prime years. Yeah. Thierry Henry always said the peak of an attacker is 27 years old. Rashford is reaching that soon, bro. Not so he it's, 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 it needs to step it up. The performances are not good enough. And okay, he got his charity penalty. Hopefully that boosts his confidence. It didn't, but by the way. Huh? His performance was still stunk. Still after you know I mean, we saw with, we saw with Kai Havertz. We'll talk about him later. He mm. got a chariot penalty. He still didn't pick mm. up for a long time. So we really United need more, man. It's not good enough. I want to ask you a quick question. That would you say with Rashford then that based on his career patterns of what you've seen, mm-hmm. does that mean he's a confidence player? Or a yes, player? bro. He's the biggest confidence player in the Premier League. Rashford's form is entirely based on how confident or how good he's feeling at the moment. And mm. like you said, at 26, 27, 28, like he's obviously not 28 yet, mm. but like these are the prime years, like you said, consistency, consistency should be the name of the game. Like mm. this is where you know what kind of player you are. And it's all about bringing the tools that you've basically been developing to this point mm. and bringing it into a full package. Mm. Rashford at this point cannot guarantee you like a base level of performance. Like His that's base level is very 100%. Low. Like base level is for low. most top players, right? Their base level is maybe like a six or seven out of 10. And then when they're on it, it's like eight, nine. Mm. So Rashford is capable of giving you eight nines, but when he's not on it, he's giving he's you literal z- like he's giving zeros. ones, twos, bro. Yeah, and you talk about his age as well too. We've basically made this guy now also the face of the club, giving him that face. kind of the, giving him that kind of contract and that kind <coughs> of responsibility. Number 10 on your back, face of Manchester United, the local lad. The expectation is much higher than it is for other players. Yeah, at some point, if Man United look as much as whatever people think about Rashford and stuff, if we're gonna have any form of you're talking about what can Man United do this season, Rashford has to score goals. It, it, that the, it, a lot of it comes down to him being able to perform. Mm. At, at the end of the day, you need at least one one attacker to take you through games. You yeah, know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. As much as Saka's performances ain't the greatest, you you're pretty much know you're getting one goal or assist every yeah. single game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mo Salah goes without saying. Even mm. yesterday, even yesterday, he somehow got the assist for Trent. Yeah. You know you're always gonna get a little something, and that's the thing with Rashford though. Like as Leah said, the base level, that's mm. the thing, the base mm. level. Yeah. Even if you're going to have a bad game, bro, give us a six. Give us a, I mean, give us a six out of 10. Yeah. These one, two out of 10. I'm telling you, bro, it was a pretty one. You know, come on, come my way. way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me see me like, oh, you didn't copy right, bro. I was singing it quite well, bro. I know, that's why. I want to ask you too quickly. Again, this is not a Rushford, whatever, but... Can you make it at a top level if you're purely just a confidence player? Now, I need to know what confidence player means. Though. I've, I've always, so, okay. I've used that term as well. So, but so this what is, is a what I want to ask you is, player? shouldn't so, you always be confident? Ain't so, everyone So this is, so this, 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 gonna, this is what I was going to follow up with. For a long time, especially in our old iteration of the podcast, and in certain, I don't think we've spoke about hair. We often spoke about human song and we said that 
uh, for Who? large son for large oh, parts oh. of his career, he's a purple patch player. Yeah, the purple patch, amazing. After that, we're not too seeing it with Rashford. Does it count as a purple patch? Does it count as in terms of he's a good moment? If he's not that good moment, you may not you you may not see yeah, it the next I, I, season. Like what is it? And can you be that at the top level? Well, you can be that at the top level if, if there's you're other not people the most to allow. reliable okay. player. If you're the most yeah. reliable on player, mm. then you can't really be mm. that. Do you know what I mean? You gotta you gotta have again as we're saying, you gotta have a base level. Mm. So when people can look at you in the tough moments, you're there. Mm. Rashford has scored big goals and stuff. We, we get that, goals, but yeah. at the same time, it is about are you the one that's given the, the inspiration mm. all the time and stuff? Mm. And as I said, Salah's doing that. You know, KDB does that. These type of players. And it may, it may be harsh to try and put them on that level, maybe. But at this I wouldn't point, even say them, you, though. You look at someone like Saka, <clears throat> he guarantees you, in my opinion, a base level. Mm. In my opinion, you might disagree with that. But <laughs> I'm not, for me, there is no chance that he's at Salah or Kevin De Bruyne's level. I, mm. I'm past kind of, of course, hoping for of that. Course. But now I'm looking at the next ring down. Mm. And again, like they might give you the consistent 10 out of 10s, 9 out of 10s that those guys do. Mm. But again, they're still at a consistent 6 out of 10. Mm. Yeah. Rashford is nowhere near that when he's at his worst. The yeah. problem with Rashford that is like, which I can get, which is about confidence, is that when Rashford's not on it, everyone starts to think, is he depressed? Um, what's going on in his family <coughs> life? Um, what's going on? Because he doesn't look, in, he looks like something's going on. I remember we used to have Nani. Right, Nanny's I think are a good example of that. Yeah, but do you know what the difference was? We didn't rely on Nanny. Yeah, you know it's I mean? true. It's true. Nanny used to get the ball like seventy percent of our game, and you're like, brother, can you get some product going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Or what's going on? One yeah. second he's on fire, yeah. next second he's not. Yeah. You might not see a goal or assist for five games. Thing, right? We would never, we, yeah, we, we would never call Nanny an elite player. No, we wouldn't. That's the thing. Yeah. That's mm. the thing. So it's really just readjusting what your thing is. Like, yeah, what is your what's the ceiling? Is the ceiling? A good player yeah. in a in a in a hopefully a fantastic team. Yeah, yeah, he, could, yeah, he, he can definitely potentially be, could yeah, be that. Yeah. But can he? As I keep saying, can he be <coughs> the, the 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 guy for Manchester United to be winning titles? Mm. No, no. Fair dues, fair dues. Quickly, um, Everton's um, protests thoughts. Yeah, for, that, Lies is I, I that. thought I thought it was corny as hell. The fact Everton fans are holding these, well, they were holding the, the, the corrupt the, Premier League badge corrupt. Okay, I, I don't understand this. I understand why, why Everton fans. He brought fat people, yeah, yeah. Bro. He brought stats. Look yeah, him, I, brought, I brought stats. Look him, look this him, is, this is something I've been very passionate about for a while. This guy went on you. Sky Sports to, to diss Everton fans. Not, and here's the thing, right? I don't have an agenda against Everton. Let me you say sure, that right yeah. now. Yes, absolutely. You don't absolutely. like Scousers. Like, look, mm. Everton fans, I feel bad for you because... <laughs> The club's actions are not yours. So I understand why you'd feel bad that the club is being punished for something that you guys didn't do. But to act like it's not deserved by the club is ridiculous. Like here's this, uh, uh, an article that was written over a year ago mm. before the, the, the allegations were even like fully there. Everton, Everton between 2017 and 2020 had a record combined loss of over 260 million pounds. Gross. 155 million pounds more than is allowed over a three year period. Gross. Everton at this period were spending, I don't know, 50 million on Sigurdsson, mm. 40 million on Andre Gomes, Alan, James Rodriguez's wages. They were buying huge players big names in different mm -hmm. positions and then selling them for basically Nothing. no profit and yeah. I was very passionate about this at the time because this was where like the Super League was kind of going on and like we were hearing like this was COVID times as well too yeah. all these teams around Europe I was saying if any team in Serie A were spending the amount of money Everton were doing at their losses they'd be sent down packing bro yeah. and Everton were be kind of being protected by the Premier League package and staying mm. in the league kind of gave them more money this is deserved bro yeah. I understand why fans are upset Ten points? yeah for you me it's deserved so? now if they're angry that other teams aren't getting the same treatment Fair yeah. enough. But to act like Everton don't deserve that treatment is crazy but to me. as yeah. Pep said, wait. No, wait. Everton, I spoke to my <laughs> people my son, and he said, <laughs> said it's different. Uh, I, I, wait. I, I will not leave this yeah. shit. <laughs> said, I wait. will not leave. So <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I do get Everton's frustration by the end of the day. It is, uh, listen, dealing with one and dealing with 115 is a lot different. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? And dealing to be fair, with 115 counts. That's that's yeah. different. So it's going to take a little It's going to take a while. They have to hold that as well. That I, yeah, thought they, I know they thought they would get the bounce today, but United have other plans. Hold tight, United. Uh, that's probably thing. That Garnacho goal took the, the Yeah, it took the bounce. It took the bounce. Test high. Hold, <laughs> hold that the silencer. Right, we'll give you guys something to do, bro. Let's let's hell? go let's go super chats quickly yeah, before yeah. we move on to one of the games of the weekend. Uh, Fuad Kadani's heart is is this guy's name. Yo, Fuad's getting a bit of <laughs> getting a bit of love lately. Fuad Fatima Kadani, you're not a real man anymore. <laughs> this guy just stripped him of his manhood, bro. Christ, <laughs> just emasculated. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, yeah, boy, listen. Fatima is insane. Il out with illness, you know. Mm. Is that real men? Mm. That's not real That's men. That's not real men, man. Real men, men come to work all the time. 
Uh, Stein says 1K legs before the stream even starts. The lad's moving different for real though. Shout out you, one K favorite combo the stream character. Started. Come on, man. He wants 1K oh. legs. Algorithm, Come on, yeah, algorithm, bro. algorithm. Get them Smash the like Get button. Them likes. Make the so where's the subscribe team? Make the subscribe team. Come up. Yeah, Production, help me, help me. So on all audio. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hey, production. Production, yeah, 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 yeah. Big up production still. Literally, what? all right, now now make um um Jessica Alba pop up. <laughs> <laughs> uh AK underscore dash says don't forget Mexus when we're talking about bicycle kicks. Ooh, Ooh. center back as well, too. That's yeah, gotta yeah, get points. Yeah, that's yeah. a good shout. Yeah. We might be getting gas though. There's probably some better ones, to yeah. be fair. That's a good shot. What else have we got in super chats? Fuad Kadani's army says Fatima Fuad labeled Pautor is soft. As he's beautiful. Mm. 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 No, but Pastor is, yeah, Pastor is, he's a long way down the line of joining real men. Yeah, no, he's but pa- pa- he pa- dunked pa- on Fuad's pa- head. Pa- pa- <laughs> pa- Pautori pa- 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 showed up to work today. He, on on he showed up at work today. You get me? Pautori yeah. showed up at work today. You get me? Uh, mm. HP, like the sauce in the chat. Jeez. Friend, family oh, member. HP says, Kobe Mainu taught Zidane how to play football. Yeah. <laughs> It's true still. It's true. Right, Say what? Facts. Me. And then Philippe H says, culture scams and Lias the hipster. See you soon at St. James's Park. You're getting cooked. Chelsea light work. Trent clear of Reese James, Bernardo Silva, and Salah world class. Mm. I like that. That's a good, that's a, it's just in the United bit. That's a good. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff in that one that we're going to get into. Let's um, speak on Liverpool City. That was the game that was at the marquee game of the weekend. Yep. Um, the two the two beasts it was Klopp versus Pep mm. who's got the best of each other one one draw mm-hmm. um, Trent Doku was, was, was the conversation mm, that yeah. was spoken about a lot what um, side are you on for that what, what side are you on in that one <laughs> because there's, there's all right. There's, there's been a yeah, there's exaggeration a yeah, yeah. from both sides. There's, right? there's, 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 there's I, the Liverpool fan saying that Doku did fuck all, yeah. and, it, <laughs> and then there's the the yeah. um, City fan saying Trent got cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where so, do you sit? For me, I don't think Trent got cooked, and I think it's one of his better defensive performances compared to really? what I've seen him do. However, every time I tweeted it, and that tweet's still going now. Mm. I said. When Doku gets the ball, he dribbles like the compilation music is playing in his head mm, mm. whilst he dribbles. So when you're looking at it, you're thinking, rah, this guy's- What song's playing? What song's playing? I don't know, no, 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 Premier Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, uh, and there's, I think it, it looked like a tactic because each time he went up against Trent, Trent was trying to show him inside. Mm. Um, and then in the second half, it was like, they deliberately said, we're going to let Matip and Van Dijk move forward out. Therefore, yeah. Trent's not in position. So, I hear what they're saying, getting cooked, and I hear the eight dribbles. But when you look at it, for me, getting cooked is when you're DMX, I'm slipping, I'm yeah, falling, yeah, I yeah. can't I'm get up. Mitoma, <laughs> Mitoma, Mitoma did yeah. trend like that last yeah. season. Bad. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you this, know, that wasn't that. This, yeah, this yeah. is not cooking. This was not like maybe like a pan fry, you know, like mm-hmm. when like mm-hmm. tss, tss, yeah, yeah, it's sizzling. It was cooking. Yeah, it's cooking. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like a damn yeah, yeah. like Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. so that's where I sit personally. Yeah. Where do you sit, bro? Do you know what? Yeah, I don't. But it's a tough one because. He did have a good game. Doku, let's not say, but let's, there's, there's two sides of it, yeah? I've seen St. Maximin do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, let's, let's be honest. That, that was a, I said it's an everyday St. Maximin performance. You know what I'm saying? St. Maximin cooks guys, creates a couple chances and that, you know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's, we're going on as if we just saw, you know what I mean? Something that we've never seen before. People need to calm down a little bit. It was a good performance by Doku, I think. But at the end of the day, Trent got his goal. I don't think Trent, when people are talking about he got absolutely cooked. Seven dribbles. You look at the actual dribbles, right? Because I hate all these stats. So for score, who scored.com, foot mob. I right, hate all of them. Except all of them. I hate all of them. I hate all of them. Squad card, squad war, whatever it's called. <laughs> squad card. I, I, I hate all of you lot. You know what I'm trying to say? But I said, stop man, Dave. Bro, what the hell? All of them. I hate all of them, bro. I'm telling you now, yeah? So I looked at it. I was like, let me see these dribbles. I think he got taken properly three times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And listen, that's, it's Doku you're talking about in a one V1 V1s. situation. Mm. You know what I mean? Every other time he got du- he, he had a little double situation, Doku went inside. Oh, he'll make him skank. And yeah, yeah, yeah you bit to that skank, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go past you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I get it. But at the same time, I think people are in where, right now we're in documania. You know what I'm trying to say? We're, <laughs> we're, yeah, I mean, I like we're that. like, I like that. what's yeah. going on? Anything he does, we're, we're, we're excited. Yeah, yeah. But really and truly, when you break it down, Trent had his moments. He had some of the good defensive moments as well. Ushered him off the pitch a couple of times. Yeah. Got his goal. Yeah. You know what I mean? He walked off the game and said, yo, they were trying to mark me, stop me from going in midfield, mm. boom, boom. Mm. Got his moment. Mm. Yo, sometimes 
That's a, that, that's a good squabble. Just, just, Teach yeah, your man yeah, how to squabble. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That was a good yeah. little yeah. bitch bash. What's that? Hands up, hands up. It was a good squabble. What I liked about it though was ultimately, to what you said, one, it was a squabble, and two, for me, with Dokumania, you can instantly see, and Leah's probably said it about two or three weeks ago, when he learned certain things past the dribbling, he's going to be a totally Bro, different when player. when Doku learns his left foot, that's what I was going yeah, to say. Exactly. Was, that's, that's he exactly. might score first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can exactly. tell Doku what he wants to do. He kind of does like the little shimmy yeah. that always ends up going to his right. right. Exactly. And then he can combine with somebody. He can take a strike, exactly. which we've seen in recent weeks. I think what Trent did well, because I think the first five minutes, it was yeah. looking like shaky. Let's not lie yeah. here. Like, Doku had him on skates. Yeah, but it's like boxing. You've got to like, ooh. Yeah, what, what jump. Ooh, ooh. Can I ooh, ask ooh, about your power? Ooh, yeah. ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, don't, don't want to say like Trent allowed him to get by him at some point, yeah. but I think at some point, Trent kind of started showing him the outside. Okay, mm. if you're going to take me on, yeah. it's not going to be to, to, to combine with mm. Haaland or combine with yeah. Alvarez. It's to go on my left, and I'm just going to bank that, bro. You're not really as effective mm. going down the byline cutting in as you are cutting in. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Bro, you know what I'm saying you know where Francis and Garnu knocked down Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tyson Fury got he's, up. He's and like, okay, okay, you know I'm so, just gonna pay you the no, jab no, now. No, come, you know, he said, he said, he said, I thought I was gonna win by care, but you know what? Let me just let me just win no yeah. points. Let me win no points. Get me, yeah. Your power is more than. What's that? What's that? Rope. What's that? But you know what? I want to talk about Trent though, right? Go on. Um, but this is what Trent is, and this is why I say. This guy is special. And we had the England discussion, yeah. right, the other day. And I actually um, <coughs> had the discussion as well with, with HB on inside, on inside Scoop. And I said, this is why I think Trent in that right-back role, as much as people talk about he can get cooked, boom, 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 he's too special of a player in that position. I know he scored from midfield area, but he vacated mm. the... I know, and, but he, re- va- he didn't start there, though. He vacated the right, I, I, right back I, situation. I agree with you. I agree with he you. vacated that, ghosted into a position and scored. The guy has too much special quality. He's such a... It, it's, it's What's the word? Like, you've got to take them lows for the highs that he can give you. Because the, them highs that Trent can give you, they're 10 out of it's, 10. It's opportunity cost. They're, it's, they're 10 you, out yeah. of 10. You, you know what I mean? The t- guy yeah. is a special player, bro. Yeah. And this is why I'm saying, like... For England, I would still personally take that risk, bro. Mm. I will take that risk because Trent wins you games. Mm. Guys, like, listen, you're talking guys, about Reese James. You're talking about Kyle Walker. You're talking about these guys. They don't win you games like Trent. Trent wins you football matches, bro. That's the difference. He dictates play he from wins you like, football yeah, matches. Yeah. He's a special player, bro. Uh, don't, I don't care. This is, this is why you can't have too much chat for Trent because you can flip it on your I head. I think like ultimately, yeah, to, to the point you're making, with Trent, at the elite level, there's players where you accept, accept who they are. This is who you are. I cannot turn you into this 1v1 defending beast. And I'm not going to because what you are mm-hmm. is perfect and I work with it. Mm-hmm. If you think about all of the years, the Henderson years and whatnot, Liverpool worked with it. Now they're still trying to make their system work for him. So mm-hmm. it's like, don't kill a man for knowing that he's not good at that stuff when yeah. you know what it is. Like at the end of the day, Let me give you an example, right? I, I, let me give you an, uh, the perfect example in mm. terms of like Milan, for example, when they had that great midfield, but Pirlo was really the heart of it. Everybody yeah. knew that if you could isolate Pirlo, it's peak. It's peak, bro. Mm-hmm. He has no. He's not going to be he's tacked. Not bro, yeah. You can bypass him easily, but mm. that's when you bring in a guy like Gattuso to kind of like offset because mm-hmm. you know the quality. Yeah, Ambrosini yes. as well too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know the quality that Pirlo possesses. 100%. It's match-winning quality yeah. that you have to live with. Yeah. Trent. Okay, the, the reason Liverpool fans used to complain all the time about Jordan Henderson, mm-hmm. Jordan Henderson, Jordan Henderson was the guy that was allowing Trent the to kind of do the thing. Lamps, when you have a player it. that has your favorite word, that yeah. X factor to Thank win you, you games individually, you you take the good with the bad. Bro. No, this is what I'm saying. Listen. You, please protect your bread, breadwinner. Yeah. Hey, the rapper. You you man really gonna let little little baby's chain get popped? The rest of you are broke for life. Protect your breadwinner, bro. Hey, you listen, get me? You guys better take the listen, shots. You can't let your listen, breadwinner. Close, close mouths don't get fed, this man. This is what I'm it's saying. It's like you know at Argentina, is it the pool walking around protecting Messi? Bro, he knows. He Thank knows. He knows. Protect your breadwinner, bro. Because if Titan happens to your breadwinner, it's you man are going back to you're Target. Going back to the- you man are going back to Walmart. You're going back to the bodega. Bro, you man are going back to the trap. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? Protect your breadwinner, hey, bro. Listen, there's something else I want to touch on this game because ultimately, Haaland broke the record. For me, yeah. it was an interesting game because Mo Salah had the opportunity to get 150 Prem goals, which mm. would have been mad. Madness. And Haaland had the opportunity to get to 50, quickest to 50. He took that chance. A lot of the conversation was that's the difference between a Haaland and a Nunes. Haaland gets that chance and scores. Nunes doesn't. But for me, what really stuck out for Liverpool is this is a game where it's the two top teams in the league playing against each other. And there was a small thing I noticed. And for the rest of the campaign, um, it, it, it can kind of go away. But this was the game that you looked at Liverpool and you thought, this is where the holding mid thing comes back and looks like a glaring big mistake. I've got a question. Because for me, 
if you watch that Bernardo Silva performance, you're thinking, oh my gosh, no mm. one can live with him because no one knows what to do naturally in that position. So when you get to Champions Leagues and whatnot, you start seeing that a bit more. So for me, it was quite interesting watching that because yeah, that was the first time I looked at midfield and I was like, you guys don't actually know how to cope with this level but, of balling. But why, why, did Clark, why did Klopp lie to Endo? What do you mean? So he said, I really need you. Brother, you don't need that, Donny. <laughs> You don't have a play him, fam. Why do you, you know what I mean? If, if he said, why, uh, he said, I really need you. Endo should be playing right now, bro. Yeah, but that's If like, that's the case, then if you really need him. You know, managers be capping, bro. You know, managers be capping, bro. Captain Marvel as well. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're going to be a big player for me. <laughs> you will be a uh, big player. Shush, man. <laughs> nah, you know what? Yeah, do you know what, though? Um, Listen, when Liverpool get do you know what? Yeah, a lot of people walked away from that. Obviously, by the way, that was a goal. In my opinion, hundred percent. away there. Allison was trying to sell that game. I don't know what he was on. I don't know what it is against Man City. We saw it in lockdown. This mm. guy just be passing it all over the gap. But I'm actually impressed with Liverpool, bro. Are you man gonna tell me City played well? Hold on, no, no, no. Oh, wait, hold it's on. Not, they, they, uh, made City, not, they made City look ordinary. Nah, let me say this. They the, made the, City the, look the ordinary. The first half, I completely agree with you. I think Liverpool were unlucky not to go in level. The second half, for most of it, until Trent scored. I thought Liverpool were lucky to be in that game, bro. Like they, what, they went. Well, we're they, peppering them. It's something we're about that Liverpool. Could, like, at, at maybe I need to revisit it, right? Like, but it felt like at times Liverpool literally couldn't string three passes. Yeah, together, but this like City, City were on to the, them that second half. Yeah, I agree. This is what Man City do, right? But the thing that Man City do <laughs> when Man City are doing that, all of a sudden the floodgates open. It's two. It's three. It's four. Liverpool stayed in that game, got it to one-one, and walked away with a point. Guys, can I can I read you guys a stat? Twenty-three games the played at the Etihad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23 wins Crazy. in 2023. Yeah, yeah. The only team to get a point Liverpool. at the Etihad this season. Liverpool, yeah, yeah. In, in all calendar year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool. So we got to give them massive credit. No, I agree. All, all I'm I saw, I saw, no, sorry, but I saw a different Liverpool because everybody talks about Liverpool this season offensively. XG, they're the top of the, the charts. XG mm. the other way, they're one of the lowest or whatever mm. it is, right? This season, a lot of talk has been about their defence. Oh, people getting chances against them mm. still, blah, blah, blah. Yet against Man City... I think they defended well and showed a different side to it. You know what I mean? Because City, on the same given day, will pop anyone 4 5 nil. What? They stayed in yeah, that game. Yeah, but they're not going so to pop. What, what, what I'll say, what bro, say about like, this though? Yeah. Because Liverpool are an amazing... Like, they're not going to pop a team at like Etihad. City have washed many teams at the Etihad. But what I would say though is... I in, hear you. In the, in, the, in, the, in the bigger games this year for City, home or away, that's what, a draw against Liverpool? Draw, mm. uh, they won a big six game. So this is what I'm saying. If unless. We so, big six, ain't we? Well, yeah, Newcastle <laughs> so, as well, they beat there. So, so whilst I understand what you're saying, like I like I always expect this game, especially a twelve thirty game after the international, I always expect this game to be one of those sort of things. What I'm dry, saying though is if you're looking at the game and you're thinking if there was one area that Liverpool could have definitely got extra value from, it was well, obviously if Nunes has his scoring boots, mm -hmm. but you're looking at that, you're thinking Bernardo, not that he's he's gonna do that anyway, mm. but it, it was so much easier for him to do that. Yeah. Like But we know but yeah, that's the thing though, Liverpool, you're playing McAllister. In the six, <laughs> we know he's not a six. We know he's not athletic. He doesn't get about. Yeah. It, it kind of changed when Gravenberch came yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Not to say yeah, Gravenberch yeah. did much, but just the difference in legs, just the difference yeah. in somebody yeah. that could maybe run past one, and yeah. all of a sudden the team can get up yeah. a little bit. Was it was a glaring difference? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, end of the day, we know this is going to be Liverpool's midfield. Mm. I said in terms of a matchup, mm. this is the tough. Obviously, it sounds silly because it's Man City. Obviously, they're probably everyone's toughest matchup. Yeah. But actually, personnel wise and ideology wise. It's tough for Liverpool to play against Man City because Man City want to overload the midfield. They want to, you know what I mean? Akanji, yeah. he thought it was Johnny Stones, mate. Mm -hmm. don't, you, don't you try that again, bro. You ain't John Stones. You ain't John Bone Stones. You get what I'm saying? Don't do that. But at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, they overload the midfield. They yeah. do all them type of things. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. and Liverpool, obviously, we know their midfield is not at that level yet in terms no, of... No, it's operational and it's doing well. Yeah. I, for me, it was just the one thing where I thought, okay, cool. Um, one thing I want to shout as well is big up um, Nathan Ake as well. That's someone that a lot of people just kind of thought like... That guy know, locks guys down, you know. Bro, listen. 1v1. Top, top. You were the one that was saying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What do you I, think I, about it? Say it. I think Ake 1v1 is super underrated. I mean, last season, he had that game against Saka, both in the FA Cup and even in Best the league. In the league. Yeah. 1v1? He, he's, or I mean, 1v Saka <coughs> exists. Kyle Walker yeah. is also really Can good. Can 1v Saka still have that shelf? He's not playing games to... to yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. He came but, on and had a nice little yeah, side yeah, and, and by games. the way... I, That's like, you know when a boxer hasn't nah, fought like a, 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 a title some match in like asked, two years? Some, some, linear some, champ. Yeah, yeah. Some guy <laughs> asked this weekend, he's like, who's the most technical player in the, the technically gifted player in the league? And people were saying Thiago and he said he can't count because he doesn't play enough games. He's still in the league, yeah. bro. He still hey, exists. But Ake is up there, bro. And the thing is too, like, it's almost like his... You talk about like profile and stuff like that. The way he's built, bro... 
it's tough to get past Nathan yeah, Ake, yeah, but he's yeah. a unit. Yeah. So yeah, he's. But up I there, think man. Kyle Walker sometimes does get taken on, but then he but his, his recovery his pace recovery. is crazy. That's, that's you're, you're, you're actually right. You're actually yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what? So Harland, fifty goals in forty-eight games. I think Andy Cole was next with sixty-two. Sixty-two. Games. Yeah. Um, fifty goals. I think Van Nistelrooy had sixty-five Something games. Like so Andy, sixty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Alan Shearer. Yeah. It's insane. Do you know? I was surprised to see put, um, Abamyang was there. Obviously, he was a mashup. But yeah. seventy-two games took, yeah. Yeah. but fifty in forty-eight. It's crazy. It's not right. The numbers. Said, the numbers actually right. like you actually have to deep the numbers, bro. <laughs> I said when I obviously it's not. It's, I'm not gonna claim it like it's the greatest shout in the world, but. When he was chasing that record um, last season, yeah. I said, bro, I don't need to wait 10 seasons to see this is the best goal scorer Thanks, we've ever yeah. seen in the league. Yes, man. And, and, and bro, I didn't even know that stat existed, bro. bro. And to see that, 48, Cam. it's the best goal scorer he's, we've ever he's seen making, in the Premier League. He's making the Premier League look like Selkent, Tandridge, you know them leagues there, like just youth leagues where mm -hmm. you can just score like 10 goals every like five games. Mm -hmm. like that. This is not what you're supposed to do at the elite level. You're not supposed to mass <laughs> numbers at this. At the top level, mm. this is what, the best league in the world? Mm -hmm. He's not played a season and a half yet. I tweeted he's played a season and a half. I was always like, no, that's like post January. It's not, yeah. we're not in December. Yeah. It's crazy what when he's you, doing. But Real Madrid, Barcelona, can you guys take this guy out of the league, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of him, bro, yeah, honestly. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm sick of the guy. It's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's crazy because especially that you just don't see him. You don't see him. You yeah. see him getting tackled and he mm. tries to go line and, and the next thing you know, bang, goal. What it's I want to say help. quickly as well is, you know the trend point you're making? Again, it's not the same, but you're saying that you take the good and the bad of the player because He's of what he does. another perfect example. Harlan he touches is the, the ball six perfect times a game. example. Mm -hmm. Like, we will come in here sometimes and be like, he touched the game seven times. Bro, I don't care if he touches the ball twice mm. because he's probably going to score with one of those touches mm. and he's going to win us games. Like, that is the caliber of what you're talking about. 14 mm. Prem goals this season already. Can he... Can he break his own record? Mm, when is KDB, I know when is KDB been, back? He, I know he gets a couple hat tricks. This season he ain't been hat tricks. When, when's KDB back? I, I think that's I, a good point. I when's KDB he has back? A few hat tricks this season. In the in the league. Yeah, I think. I so, saw I saw KDB out in um in Abu Dhabi for the F one. Yeah, did, 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 did you see the tweet or like he was like saying, "Oh, it wasn't me on the um on the Drake album." Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, he's, what do you he say? He's like, "Come back sooner." So he yeah, commented yeah, yeah, on his singing. He's like, "I need an assist myself." But yeah, no, remarkable record as well. But in general, that game. Um, stalemate, but Arsenal, man, should we go into it? Yeah, yeah top man, of the table, mate. Right, have you got any super chats on the City Liverpool bit yeah, before we go? Few. Um, you guys are saying MCFC solo says, Shout Bernardo may be the best footballer in the Premier League. Baller. Thoughts on that, come bro. I'm a big fan of Bernardo. Would I'm you say he's the best footballer in the footballer. league? Footballer, like, as in like footballer. pure footballer, in pure the league. footballer. I think he's up there. I think Thiago's still up mm. there, as you mentioned. Um, Foden's a good, is a nice player. Well, Bernardo is um, up there, yeah. Yeah, yeah Bernardo's, the Bernard, Bernardo, yeah, 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 yeah. Bernardo's definitely way up there. I mean, he's a multifunctional player as well, <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? He plays right wing, left wing, centre mid. He can pick up the ball in the first phase, mm. do whatever. He can score goals, he can assist. Just technically, he can do everything. He's a really, coach's you know dream, honestly. Coach's like, dream. So. Pep has talked about like the best players he's ever trained. He's name dropped him numerous times yeah, in terms yeah, yeah. of this guy has everything. And on top of that otherworldly talent that he has, mm -hmm. he's so unselfish and he's willing to put in the hard yards. Like, if you want IQ a team of 11 well. players, but yeah. we always used to say, oh, which 11 players, if they all played in the same, like Rooney was that one guy. Yeah. You could, if you had 11 Roonies, you could win the league. Mm -hmm. Bernardo Silva, in my opinion, is like the one modern day guys, version yeah. of that. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I love about Bernardo as well? Yeah, You know, often yeah, people always think about pace, athleticism for players mm -hmm. that you need it. This guy still manages to get up and down the he pitch. An engine, he's he got an a mad engine, you know? Yeah. He may not look like this big he's like, musk. Yeah. The guy he's gets like you combine Kante and Messi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Bro. The guy, honestly, nah, he's a he's a brilliant player, but yeah. I, mean, I mean, there's going to be a lot of talk about him this season, I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he was supposed I, to go, in it. Yeah. Every yeah. summer he says, I want to go. Imagine he actually wants to stay and start <laughs> playing with him, bro. Yeah, and it's funny because this is the second time that KDB has been injured. And people have then started seeing Bernardo's Bernardo, value. Exactly. Mm. But he's been he does this every yeah, single yeah. big week. game player. You know what I mean? But it's yeah. only when KDB's out that people mm. start saying, Oh, you know what? We got a guy called Bernardo Silva yeah, over there. He's yeah, a mad baller. Yeah. But the same thing's gonna probably happen. Like KDB's gonna come back in and then mash up the mash up the thing and then mm. yeah. we're gonna say KDB player of the year. You know what yeah. I'm saying? KDB's a closer. I go yeah. to him, right? Yeah, closer. <laughs> he's <laughs> like Kawhi Leonard, bro. Oh, he's he's, he's load managing. Bro. Oh. KDB will be load managing, bro. He's, he's Goku in the freezer stuff, yeah. bro. He's in the chamber. So bro. I'll finish off. Getting himself this mashed right, up. Right, finish like, up. Yeah, I'll Goku's like, all right, come on, let me call October, him. October, November, now call me when it's February. Yeah. Yeah. That's when KDB comes in. Let me close this, man. I'll attack Bernardo Gold. What else we got? Let's quickly wrap through these. Tite Kudia says, Fuad Abdullahi Kader Fadumo Abubakar. 
Frank had done. For, Dum- for Duma is insane. Wait, wait. So people ain't so people ain't putting Abdullah in there no more. Huh? No, no, did. No. That was the second one. He oh, said. okay, okay. <laughs> Thank then, you. And then Musal FC twenty one says <coughs> he's got a fifty million release clause. Someone will pay. Who? I think he's. I don't know if he's talking about Bernardo. I, I doubt it, bro. There's no way. Who's got a fifty million release? If Bernardo clause? has a fifty million release Let, clause. Send another super chat. Let's know you're talking about. Because if that's Bernardo, boy. Uh, Felipe H also says when LFC get a six, it's long for all of us. Yeah, I mean, could be potentially. Yeah, mm. could potentially. But Arsenal, let's go. Kai Havertz, welcome to the party. Mm. <laughs> welcome big to goal. the party. Big, big, big goal. goal, big big goal. There's a lot yeah. to talk about in this game. Obviously, it's a striker's goal, by the way. Huh? It's a nine's goal. Uh, yeah, it's, people talking it, about he's a midfielder. It's a nine's goal, but it's kind of his false nine goal where you're crashing the box. Yeah, I would agree with that. He's a, yeah. It's a forwards goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, There's a lot to talk about in this game. Obviously, Brentford are not. It's one of those sticky places for Arsenal to go. Um, the Rams though had to start because obviously Raya's on loan. Mm-hmm. Oh, should we start there? This bro, is our Tetris fault. Yeah, let me start there, bro. Listen, commentary, commentators, all across the country, all over the world. We don't care. This Ramsdale thing is the most overspoken about thing I've ever seen. Bro, he has no God-given right to start for Arsenal. I agree. He doesn't. His dad, allow it. Please, father, pops, go in the stands. <laughs> Watch your son. He has no God-given right to play. What do you mean he hasn't got his smile? You the hell cares? <laughs> it's a professional football club. Who the hell cares? Is it because he's English or something that we have to be talking about this? He's not even England's starting goalkeeper. <coughs> this ain't news. I'd get it if it was maybe Jordan Pickford. He starts for England. Joe Hart, he started for England. Ramsdale doesn't even start for England. Why is this the news? Pressuring Arteta. I'm glad Arteta didn't answer them questions, bro. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about the team. It's a silliness. Nobody has a God-given right to start for any club, let alone... Aaron Ramsdale and then at the same time he's making these mistakes blah 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 and then Gary Neville saying oh this is what Arteta caused and Carragher saying this isn't why is this national news it doesn't make sense it's the most pathetic thing I've seen in such a long time they spent the whole game and half time and full time speaking about Aaron Ramsdale when Arsenal just went top of the league who cares mm. bro I'm so, Rams, you're on the bench next game Raya's back hold <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's true, this bro. Is, this is professional That's football, bro. That's professional is, sport. Is listen, to give, to give, I, I agree, but to what give some, this? to give some pushback, I agree with you, but to give some pushback on context, you've got a team that ultimately. Wait, oh, gave, hold on, wait, hold on. Can, 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 can I hear from Can I hear from Leno's dad, please? <laughs> Leno's dad, bro. Leno's dad. How did you feel about when when Ramsdale um got your son benched? Right, let's talk about, let's call him the guard, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Let me call. How, how does it feel when your son got benched? I'm not talking about the. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the aspect of. Arsenal were a team that tried to go toe for toe for seat last year. You're now in a position where you're making incremental changes to take you to the next step. Yeah. And you have this situation where you have a goalkeeper that's on offer and a lot of 10 Premier Leagues looked at him and thought were passing. He now joins Arsenal and many people will say he's not been that much better no, than the goalkeeper he that he's replaced. And I think that's where it's sort of, we've got a conversation yeah. now. But guess, no, it's a but, but, but guess what? Look, but guess yeah. what? Managers have long-term visions. <coughs> Raya's gonna I sign, agree. by the way, twenty-seven million. He's yeah. gonna sign for Arsenal. Yeah. This is who he Arteta wanted, by the by the way, before Ramsdale. Let's yeah. not let's not get that part mm. mistaken. Yeah. M- managers have long-term visions. Yeah. At the end of the day, Leno, you got replaced by Ramsdale. Ramsdale, maybe maybe Raya's his final piece. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm trying to say he's oh. obviously he obviously values him. So mm. just because he's not doing it short term, blah blah blah. What? So it's just the same thing as when we brought in Onana. He was throwing the ball in his net. I never missed the Heya one moment. <laughs> Other fans did. I didn't miss the Heya. I was looking at Onana like, okay, that high top might need to go. But, <laughs> but I wasn't saying sell this guy. There's no way I'm going to be saying, what's that Donny's name? By India or whatever his name is. Yeah, come start for my club. You stay on the bench, bro. Ten Hag has a long term vision, hey, bro. He is. You know what he I'm is. saying? What's going on? Hey, you think I'm calling for that guy, bro? Hey, Come on, man. This is getting crazy. This is right, by India. By India, you know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he the streets are saying they want to hear from Claudio Bravo's dad from when bro, he that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this, this, let me this hear such, from all these bro, guys. This is such, but honestly, this is, in my opinion, just because Ramsdale is English, bro. This wouldn't mm. be happening if, if he wasn't an English international goalkeeper. Mm. This is an, I'm completely with you. This is a complete non-story. Mm. Mm-hmm. The manager is picking what he thinks is best for the club. Mm. Aaron Ramsdale was not playing at prime Neuer levels last season, the season before, to suddenly suggest that changing him for anyone is that crazy of a, of a thing. As he had some great moments for Arsenal. Mm-hmm. He was big in their in their 
Yeah, he Rise. had a good season. Yeah. But he's expendable, man. Mm -hmm. He's Listen, not man, one of the every, best goalkeepers in the world all of a sudden. Every, everyone's expendable. And I think ultimately, like, you watching that game, the mistake that Declan Rice had to clear up for him, mm. the the uh, the throw when he looked like he was throwing it on the worm on the pitch or something. <laughs> it's like you didn't cover yourself in any glory to start the next game. Mm -hmm. Do you get? So um, that's out of the way. But let's speak about Kai Havertz. A lot of people are asking, is this the moment where he kicks on? If I wanted to be one of those typical Chelsea fans, I will say no, because I've seen this before. But I genuinely hope that he can do something. At the end of the day, that is prime habit. You don't hope. No, that, you know, you don't he's hope. Like, no, you have not He like he hopes. Yeah, I, I, I care about him, man. Yeah, yeah, I care about him. This guy tried to run him out of the club. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't run no, not Yeah, me. he ran him out of the club, I man. Didn't him you out. happy to see him go? I didn't run for the money. You're yeah, 100%. Nah. No, that, was, that was good money. I'll be That's real, though. Can I be so honest? I don't think Kai Havertz is really the big talking point from this game, though, to be honest with you. He scored a good goal and. No, he's for one of the talking. I, I think the big one is the guy that they signed in midfield, Declan mm. Rice, another huge performance from him. And then I think it's the, the wingers. I think that's another big talking point. Yeah, 100%. Mm. But with the Kai Havertz one, people have been like, oh, he's going to kick on. We'll see. But, but again, they said the same thing after the penalty. Like, honestly, exactly. th there's more to Kai Havertz than just scoring or not yeah. scoring. I think it's position when it comes to it, confidence. Yeah. I don't think there's a goal, a lot of factors a goal can change. That, that one meme, a goal can change your whole life. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's changing no, his life. I, I, I think that's good for him. Good for yeah. his confidence. He just has, he's got to kick on, bro. Yeah, that's 100%. They're going to you know need him to. Speaking to the point we spoke about before, it's all great. Like, you know, Martinelli's not had the best season. Saka's still getting goals and this According to Don Robbie, <laughs> According to Don Robbie, mm. Martinelli's in the team of the season. With one goal. With what? With one deflected With one goal. goal. Mm. It was going, bro, it was just hey, about going on slapped, target. Slapped it off Akeke's face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Don Robbie, listen, you're a crook for that. You know, if you're watching, I know you watch the show. You are a criminal for that. Do you know what I mean? And then I said, when I tweeted it, people started trying to cook me, you know. And then he dropped that stinker. Martinelli, <laughs> listen. I uh, you hate the papers. He, he the don't, papers. He was the even, papers. Even last season, he didn't the like papers. Martinelli. Bro. The papers. Even Listen, last season, he lost. I like nah, Martinelli. Stop. Stop. No, you are not doing that right <laughs> now, bro. You, you are not doing that. Hey, this guy's a liar, Your Honor. Your <laughs> Honor, he's lying. <laughs> he's, lying. <laughs> with the right. he's lying, Your with, Honor. Um, with the Declan Rice situation, um, conversation, <laughs> it's one that we've had here a few times. Um, I truly say that that's what you call a transformative signing. Someone that comes in and it looks like they've been there the whole time. He does everything for them. I think I said it a few weeks ago. He, he looks like he's doing three or four jobs for, mm -hmm. for them in that team. And we've what I really like about it is we always talk about the span of the team being the most pivotal part, right? And it's easy to say that Gabriel and Saliba, as partnerships go in the center, uh, mm -hmm. center half position, it's, it's up there. You then put Declan Rice in front of them, and that's what. No, you know what? You know what? Let's let's steal Fuad's line. The Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda tri <laughs> Triangle. That's listen, the real Bermuda listen, Triangle. You see, you see that there? That is what you call a core to build from. And that I'm just so glad that a lot of people that were waiting for Declan, remember, a lot of people wanted Declan to fall. Oh, a course. lot of people said that this transfer was too much. He's not going to go and be there. He's going to, is he going to adapt to be a water carrier? Mm -hmm. He's gone there and he's still playing the same way he played for West Ham, probably with more confidence. And it's his team. Don't get me wrong. I know your captains, you know, your leader and whatnot. Mm -hmm. He looks like the captain. But he is the leader on the, the pitch. He's the leader of that team. He's the leader on that team. But what's so funny about Declan Rice is that I promise you guys, bro. He, the guy is performing at the same level he was performing at West Ham. Yeah, yeah. He's just playing in a different 100%. Yeah. And it's so funny 100%. how perception can change when you're yeah. doing it at a, at a higher level. No, no doubt. The guy has been performing this way for three years, yeah. bro. And of course, there's moments in his, there's moments that, of course, Arteta's going to coach into it. When you're playing the better players, still certain qualities are going to come out. I actually think that the, the, not a dilemma or anything like that, it's a great problem for Arsenal to have. Mm. That when Partey got, comes back in, if he comes back in, that is, mm. yeah. Does he move Declan Rice to the eight position, which people are assuming that is what's going to happen? Mm. I think, I personally, Partey on the ball is better than Rice and stuff, but the solidity that Arsenal are playing with and the reason why they're so hard to beat is because of that Gabriel Saliba, the triangle. Declan Rice. It's what he's added there. So if you move Declan Rice to somewhere where maybe he's a little less uncomfortable and a little less comfortable and want him to now start adding that attacking impetus and stuff, mm. do you lose some of that solidity? Because, bro, the reason why Arsenal can go to Brentford away and start with Trossard left eight and Odegaard yeah. is because they have somebody that is an athletic monster mm -hmm. in that midfield, bro. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It's the reason why you can experiment with, oh, let's, let's try Kyle Havertz there. Mm. Actually, do you know what? Let's try Fabio Vieira too. Yeah, you have the because ultimate you've got policy. that insurance yeah. policy there. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit of a, it's a question. Now, on paper, Odegaard, Partey and Rice flipping out. That's, let, a, that's let, a title let, in let midfield, let, but yeah. I just think 
because Arsenal, bro, they're the lowest in terms of conceded XG and stuff. Mm. That's there's no it's no no surprise. But for that, let me know? ask you this: I completely agree. Defensively, Arsenal have been the best team in the league this season, and I think a large part of that is down to Rice. And I think also Arteta has kind of changed his philosophy. Of Last course. season, mm. they were exhilarating offensively, mm. but it showed at the end of the season you could get at them, especially when Saliba went out. Yeah. Mm. This season, it's kind of been like a change, like a complete 180 in identity. But do you think it's a bit too much? And like they're winning games right now. Yeah. But do you think the way Arsenal are playing? offensively is yeah. sustainable because a lot of Arsenal fans are starting to question yeah. okay we're winning the odd game 1-0 here 2-1 so, here but what happens when the goals start drying so up so for me uh, oh. with this I think it's where Arteta's signing of Havertz will come mind into question because it's like that's the person you brought in to sort of supplement what we had before mm. Lot, two seasons ago you had Emil Smith Rowe running around like he was getting your 10 goals and whatnot. Martinelli's not been at the races Saka's still performing Jesus is coming out and saying that he he, he bringing goals isn't the best thing that he does. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, so who else is going to help Bukayo, please? Yeah. And that's where the Havertz sign in, if they continue playing this way, there's a massive, massive magnifying glass in it. But, but there's no, there's, listen, we've seen teams kick into the game, we see City kick into no, the game late into the season. But I think that's what I was going to say though. I still think, you know, even when we say, oh, City ain't looking at themselves, mm. they're still scoring lots of goals, they're still mm. doing those things. We've seen when teams <sighs> have won titles, we've seen them go from playing really well and then at the shore end of the season, we're just going to get you know the results. We're going to grind it. I know exactly what you're going to say. Chelsea 2015. Good example. That's yeah. not the one I was going to use. What? I was going to say Liverpool mm -hmm. from 17-18 yeah. all the way to 19-20. No, the way they changed, the way they played, they yeah, were like yeah. exhilarating offensively, yeah. but then it wasn't winning them titles. Or yeah. They were destroying teams, but yeah. then they started we going... Some sort of balance. You, yeah. you look at, like, for example, Chelsea 2014 That's a great example. Yeah. 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 They started the season, oh, Fabregas, yeah. Costa... By January, was, yeah. they, by, by January, February, shut I think up, you guys up. lost one game to Spurs, I yeah. think it was. Yeah. Jose said, safe. Say no, no more. Hazard, 1-0 one one FC. One yeah. Yeah. One let's, let's, get, let's get out of here. Yo, come. Lock off the game. Exactly. So going from like maybe these type of forms, then all of a sudden just clicking your finger around January, February, and the performances become exhilarating and stuff. It's not really the most common thing, but, but can, if you remain but this a is the team question. that are your, you're not even giving away many chances, and that's a great this, base to this go This is win the question league. I have for you, and obviously there's been a lot of talk by people who say, you know, very valuable sources to the Arsenal community that there's one man that could potentially be on the market for them. Who? Victor Oshiman is the talk that they're saying. So if you now can bring something like that into your Arsenal in January, but that's, that's this a is, myth. This, that's bro, a myth. No for, me, for me, for me, that's a myth. So exactly. So for, in me, January. for me, it's a myth. But that's what people are coming out and saying that. Well, what if we get the signing or a Tony that changes it? Does that then take them to another level? If they bring in another, if forward? they bring in a forward, it will massively improve of them. Of course, it will yeah. massively aid them. Yeah. Hundred percent, different dynamic. I mean, they brought in Trussard halfway through the yeah. season and it gave them some but, vitality. But so, hundred million type signing. In January, that's a that'll summer be, one, bro. Deal or rent will charge you 500 million for all yeah. I, I don't January. think it will happen, but that's one of many people that are saying that yeah. can come in and do something. That'll be surprising. That'll be surprising. But as I said, if you're not giving away chances, I'm not even talking. You know, some teams have the best defensive record, yeah, but yeah. they're flipping giving away. We, we, yeah, last season, we yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. won the Golden Glove. Yeah. The, but we, if you're looking at the actual stats and stuff like that, Arsenal don't even give away chances. Bro. There's, um, you mentioned the wingers, right? There's someone that I want to mention because ultimately when it's discussed about him, there's always like if and buts. He might not be everyone's cup of tea. But can we like just give a moment to respect what Bakayo Saka's actually doing for Arsenal? Like when you break it down, like whether you don't like the way he plays and whatnot, you mentioned it earlier, six out of 10, he'll always give you. I can only remember one period of Bakayo Saka's senior team like life where it was looking a bit like, raw, what's going on? And I think it was around his 100 performance, uh, my parents where he hadn't scored much and everything. He constantly gives you something. Even if the performance isn't great, he's leaving with a goal and assist now. He's aiming upwards. And if you think about over time, yeah, look at the amount of when Bakayo Saka came through. Did we think this is what he was going to be? When the people like the Cho, Rashford and everything is what we spoke about. If we look at where he's gone to as a Premier League prospect coming out of the academy and being free and operating for Arsenal, boy, like you said in your clip the other day, he saved Arteta's job. Mm -hmm. And he's now the, the linchpin of this team. One thing I'll and say about Saka I, as well, too. I think that deserves more credit than it gets given. I, I get it's, it's easy to be up Saka, but when you look at the magnitude of where it is, I think you actually have to respect what's 100%. going on there, One man. thing I'll also give to Saka, right? I look at his situation and what he's playing at. Odegaard this season, has. I think he's had a drop-off. Yeah. I look at Ben White as well. 
I think last season he was a lot more effective than he was this year. I think teams Facts. have kind of clocked Ben White on the overlap. Okay, he's overlapping like crazy, yeah. but how effective really is he in that regard? And then you have a guy like Tomiyasu, who I think on the overlap is bang average. I think he's actually better at left back than he is at right back. Yeah. So a lot of the time, Bukayo Saka is getting double teamed, even triple teamed at times. Yeah. That's the normal life of a winger, though, man. Of a good winger, that's the normal life. 100%, but... Well, you say that. To be honest, I don't. I don't know if it is, bro. You don't think? I, he, what do you mean? Salah doesn't Salah always gets, get double teamed. He's because no, because you got to worry about Trent. You got to worry now about Sobot slide too. <laughs> Salah doesn't get double teamed in my opinion as much as Saka does. Saka for me sees those situations a ton, especially this season. So to still maintain the output that he is and like come up with big moments like he has in the last few games, yeah, you got you have to give him credit for it. Well, I, I, the, the best thing about Saka is that he improve he improves year his numbers year, yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah. every single season. Every single season, you get something different. I still think, though, this season, he will need to, at some point, his performances will need to rise. 100%. It's good that he's getting the stats, and I know Arsenal fans are saying, well, give me stats every single week. You know what I mean? But I think Arsenal fans would know at the same time, you know what I mean, that like the performance is what matters as mm. well. But the fact that he's still contributing to an attack that aren't really doing too much, mm. you've got to give it massive credit. And as I said, every year his stats go up, mm. and that's what you want. You want that gradual thing. You know what yeah. I mean? We see too much this and then this, mm. you want someone just to go up like that. And that's what mm. that's what he's doing. And listen, he's going to be playing at a higher level this season in terms of the Champions League and all of that type of stuff. Responsibility for England and stuff. He's an established player now. So that's what you want. But especially at 22 years old and stuff, you still want that exhilaratingness. You still want that take a man on. And yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of just stats. But and I, I, think think it'll, I think it's just a slow start. Yeah, I think it'll I, come. No, it will Performance-wise, before yeah. people... Because mm. at, at the end of the day, like we said, Martinelli, rise please. Odegaard, can mm. you return to your usual level, please? Jesus, can you decide what your your destiny is going to mm -hmm. be? The one constant, well, they have to, they have the constant of that triangle, and they have him. So mm -hmm. you got to give respect, man. But listen, man, any super chats there? There's a team that we need to discuss. Oh uh, yeah, we got a few. Oh, right. There's, there's a team. Yeah, we, we, I hope, we need I to hope set, man. Stay, I'm stay, in the stay, chat. stay for stay for Chelsea. Stay for the Chelsea cooking. That will be coming up shortly. <laughs> but before we get there, we have got Juice Ju says, Ju says, "Why are you talking about man getting double teamed?" Pause. Now you see, this is what you've done, now, bro. What the hell oh, are you? Game, what the hell bro. are you talking about, bro? <laughs> that's the worst. Take your money back, honestly, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's terrible. Uh, oh my days. Olisa with a 50 pound super chat. Woo! Woo! Hey, that one's not going to you, Don Robbie, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says Arsenal can go up the gears to get, or she or he, excuse me. Arsenal can go up the gears to get goals. The biggest value added in January for Arsenal is a left central midfielder, not a forward. The defensive muscle memory is being developed for knockout football and the high pressured games at the business end. UCL ain't ready. I do like that point though about Good point. it's like you know I, I was I was gonna make an NBA reference. I'll yeah. even look at City last season in terms of how they grew into the season and kind of load, like managed it period by period by period so that okay they weren't the best in the beginning but mm. closing out the season they were at their top form. That's a decent point. Yeah, yeah. yeah listen, Arsenal. You know, Fubad said it a long time ago on here that Arsenal uh, could win the Champions League or could be a dark horse at the Champions League mm. or whatever. So mm. they are kind of building that kind of. No resilience. nonsense, kind of resilient kind of mm. team that you see often win Champions Vroom. Leagues. You know what I'm trying to say? So <laughs> <laughs> they got a few. They got they Arsenal got a couple real men in there. They got a couple real men in there. But yeah, any any more? No, that's it. All right, cool. Liverpool, so not Liverpool. Spurs have lost three games. Yeah, no, wait, Spurs, Spurs, you weren't talking about Spurs. No, no what's going on? Spurs, 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 Wait, what? wait, wait, wait. Because Monday, we're going to add that they ain't got the, the runner no, shirt. No, 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 no. Who decided that running order? Exactly. I asked Monday what they want to no, do, and they said, no, yeah, it's fine. No, What's up? no, no. What's up, Monday? No. All right, cool. Hey, we switched from Bruno. Chelsea. Chat. Chelsea. Chelsea, you see what Chelsea won. Newcastle, four. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Say that one more time. Spanked. Say that again. Say that again. Spanked. One more time. One more time. Newcastle, four. Chelsea, one. Yeah, yeah, good. Spanked. I hope everybody Dismantled. summon, summon Matisse into that chat. I hope he's still in there. That TJ from Smart Guy looking ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Malcolm X looking ass. You know what I mean? I'm bombarded from saying certain things on it. Personal I told him. He came up on here, yeah? And he when I was on the, the Monday Roundup show or whatever it was, yeah, Thursday. And he came up on here and talking about, these are the type of games that I want. Give me the big teams every single week. What are you guys talking, man? You as well, mm. um, Maze. Don't think I didn't see you and made you think comments talking about 
they don't let us get money. What are you talking they about? They don't let us get money. <laughs> As if you guys are a poverty team. You man got money from Roman Abramovich. What a man talking about, bro? Chelsea fans were getting gas, and I told you, wait until you come to Old Trafford, December the 6th, 8 15 kickoff. It's going to be peak, bro. And Chelsea fans were all talking to me about, nah, ha, ha, Cam, how can you talk about United are in a better position? Just look at the league table. What are you guys talking about? Where are Chelsea fans getting this arrogance from? Relax yourselves. Cole Palmer. Yo, how about some open play goals, please? Oi. What, what's going on? Oi. Oi. They, get, they guessed Chelsea for these big game performances, but when it was Oli. Mm. I'm just saying, bro. And I saw some mm. Chelsea fans talking about, oh, um, why is it that we get da 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 um, every te Bear teams have gone to Newcastle and had a tough... Because you're 10th. <laughs> because you're 10th. When is that going to register? Oh, that's too How fun. long has it been, <laughs> bro? Funny. How long has it... How long do we have to wait until this Chelsea machine kicks off? How long? Do you watch, know what was one mad? Piece, bro. Huh? <laughs> so watch One Piece, bro. I I said, one, I said, one Piece, that's too funny. Bro, when is it going to kick off? Do you know what's so mad about this result, yeah? Do you know why this result was, um, in the words of... Said is Matisse in the chat? Fo footballs yeah, are ghost there, and I what did he say? Fo footballs a real humbler. Do you know what's a humbler? Yeah, because at the beginning of the season, everyone was saying Chelsea injuries, Chelsea injuries, Chelsea. Injuries. That was Grizz's comment, but that's Grizz's footballs a humbler. Thing. Sorry, Grizz, sorry, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a real humbler. Um, how's that, Grizz? Um, fam, Newcastle had Hannah Montana playing centre mid, bro. They had a, mm. a guy called Miley playing centre <laughs> mid. They had, they had, I bro, was wondering where you were. Bro, they had, I was like, <laughs> you know, you know, what you're looking at. Who are these? <laughs> Who's that? Who are these? Who are these? <laughs> and then I saw the sister. and I said, ah, uh, okay. Like That's like when you would play career mode, bro. Like yeah. 10 years in the future. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Got some random NPCs yeah, I said, playing, I said, bro. I said, I said, I said Lewis <laughs> Miley, bro. I said, best of both worlds, bro. I said, best of both worlds. That like, cold, the sis was cold, though, huh? The sis was oh. cold, but again, what, I, was a unit, bro. what, what mm. I took away from that game is Newcastle have gone about their way of doing what they ever want to do. But what I want to say is they spent money well and they built a real spirit. But they you say, wait, what's, up, what's I'm saying? They've got man up, but what, what do we talk about when football? Football's not just about how you build a squad, it's about spirit. What do we say about Eddie Howe? There's a distinct way of what he's doing. Gets the goals, sets up the banks of four. This place, St. James's Park, you're not coming here and doing any business. We are going to be sick here. What, Chelsea don't want to win any games at home? You just want mm. to try and go away and win games? That's not sustainable. You look at the, what Callum, Callum Wilson was out. Mm. It's like still going to pop up. Mm -hmm. Andy Gordon, something they spent money on. He's going to pop mm -hmm. up. Bruno Gimmerich, okay, it's not working out how you're going to be sent to mid. He's going to pop up. At the end of the day, when it comes to, in terms of pers personal that they bought, mm. the way they've assembled their team and the spirit they built, Newcastle have done it better than Chelsea. What was everyone saying before? Newcastle are not going to be sustainable. They're playing mm. across multiple fronts. Why are people telling me that the Chelsea players are tired? Mm. We're playing one game a week. One Newcastle game a week. played They're talking about Enzo Newcastle. Fernandez tired. Newcastle. What are you talking about? He's Newcastle. just got no running power. Bro, Newcastle. Told you from the first Newcastle. day he came into Newcastle the league. Newcastle played how many yeah, things? Right. You're already and on then steam training, bro. When, what I've noticed about this Chelsea team is when the going gets tough, I'm looking around and I'm thinking, damn, boy, we just fold. That's mm. not news though for, for me. That's no, but it's, we, it's, we've been saying it's, Chelsea don't have the experience it's, to get it's, themselves it's, out of these situations. No, I've constantly said it. Like but I, think, yeah, I but think we've been saying it's, that, bro. It, when games like this, it's more apparent. It's oh, more apparent. Of course, apparent. they lost 4-1, bro. You're looking in your thing to myself. <laughs> has it not been apparent for a whole year, bro? <laughs> no, it has. <laughs> they, it has. they have it nine has. wins it in it the has. 2023, has. bro. Thing, though, now, all of a sudden, this 4-4 four -four that they had with Man City, yeah? And then you can see four against... And that they, you guys were celebrating like a win, by the way. You know you were. You guys are celebrating <laughs> like a win. All of a sudden, it's 4-4, four -four, and you can see the... Four, now it's eight goals conceded in two yep. games. Mm. Yep. Yeah, no it's, 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 yep. yep. it's not looking yep. pretty, bro. Yep. This is high. It's not looking Thiago Silva high. Thiago Silva high. Let's let's have the Old conversation. Oldest player in your history. Let's have the let's have the conversation. Yeah, you know, Cam often says no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Cam often says if you have to rely on your goalkeeper being the best player on the field, you have an issue. If you're relying on a 39 year old mm. centre half to be V centre half, we're not talking about like Luton Town or Everton. We're talking about Chelsea. Yeah. A 39 year old. Questions that we've got are serious questions now, man. Come on, man. I mean, he should be doing his badges. You know, Levi Cole was there and that. He no? should be doing his yeah, badges. Yeah, yeah. Thiago Silva yeah. should be doing his badges. And I love Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva is <laughs> great. I still think he's operating at a high level, badges. but he should be doing his badges. Yeah. <laughs> what? At 39, mm. with the amount of miles he's had in his legs playing football. But why does he why does he look fitter than Enzo? <laughs> huh? 
Oh, oh, yo, this yo, guy, oh yeah, this guy, guy this guy hates Enzo oh, yeah, so much, bro. I forgot. Don't you get tired? Don't you get tired of that? Oh yeah, I actually feel. I was thinking, wait, so wait, why ain't he reacting? That's your guy. Don't you get tired That's of talking about Enzo? No, no, don't get tired. You, of this guy brings up Enzo. This yeah. guy's the guy. He's like, when can we talk about Enzo? We talk about Enzo every no, no, week, no, no, bro. No, we don't talk about Enzo. <laughs> yes, we do. No, we don't. Enzo, we, uh, Enzo uh, talk for me is getting boring now. No, 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 no. He's the guy we talk about every single week. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Who is it? I'm telling you now because, as I said, when it's if it was Declan Rice, oh my God, they'll be saying. The worst are oh, English tax, blah 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 blah. Baz Matty this, blah blah blah. Me, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> but all of a sudden, Enzo can get away with these type of performances all the time. And, and Chelsea fans at the end of every single game will make some sorry ass comp. <laughs> to, think, to think that I'm going to be con convinced by Enzo's performance. No, he hasn't impacted Chelsea in any way. Can What's the difference between Enzo Fernandez right now and John Joe Selvi at Newcastle? <laughs> this brings this up. What's the difference? As I asked you last time, what's the difference between Mudrick and Damari Gray? The new one is now, what's the difference between Enzo and John Joe Selby? That's what I want to know. Don't That's what I want to know. Go, go on, tell me. Tell me. Because it's 100 million. Tell me. What's the difference? John Joe Selby. Just because when Anthony's boost. saying and all these, man, everyone gets all these attention. Talk to me about Enzo. Bro, listen, man. With Enzo, especially with Chelsea, because of the lack of running power and the combativeness and Conor Gallagher gets around and a few got Conor, He's got Conor Gallagher and he's got Caicedo. There's no excuse for him not to be the guy. He's got... But he's I, not the you guy. Know what we you know no, Hold on, hold on. Nah, you know what we were tired, just saying? Bro. You know what we were just saying about... What were we just saying? Protect your breadwinner. <laughs> bro, the man I put him... They, they got, he's got two bodyguards. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on. He's got more bodyguards than Can I ask you a question? What is your expectation? Don't say to impact games. Don't say... No, to impact games. Run for That's for me. That's Run based on what is. Uh, I'm asking like the in, like the intricacy of a midfielder. What kind of midfielder do you want Enzo Fernandez to be? I want him to run football matches. I want him to be the metronome. <laughs> I want him to be that for Chelsea. I want it to go through him. I get it. I not, might not get a goal. I might not get. He might not get an assist. That's not even what I'm looking for him for. But I want him to run games consistently, bro. The same way people <coughs> were asking Pogba to do it. The same way people were asking Thiago to do it. Despite him being a 30 million pound signing, whatever. Big world class man like that can be questioned. But Enzo Fernandez, because he was running around with Messi and them. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Man. This is I, what I'm but, saying. But, Kim, like, but, don't be trying to take Messi's clout. That's bro. my whole point, though. That's my whole point. You know that guy? Pog, Pogba and Thiago for me are much better talents than yeah. Enzo. So my expectation. Okay. wasn't Enzo? Uh, Enzo no, was I, World I, Cup I, golden boy and all them I, things. I, there. I, I get that, but like uh, now they want to downplay Enzo. <laughs> no, I, I like I like Enzo, but if we're talking seriously, I feel like people have like. This expectation of Enzo Fernandez, like, oh, he has to do this. He's yes, he does. He's never going to be that guy, bro. What, he, what guy? What I you're asking him to I, be, bro. I have not once at one second. <laughs> for, for he me. thinks I want Enzo to score goals. No, I it's not that. No, that. no. I, 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 respect, I respect I your knowledge. No, no. Nah, nah. I, res I respect you enough not to think you know that. Well, I think you. some people do, bro. I think some people are looking for like a blatant thing right now. Like, where is he just like crunching the tackles? Where is he pitching in the goals? He's never going to be that kind of player, bro. I want to be like, oh, Enzo effect. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was Enzo. Same way, that's Declan Rice. Look, he's gone into Arsenal. So Arsenal solid or a solid. I'm, I'm, like, you know that, I'm, I'm like, you know what? That's, that's uh, Declan the, Rice the, effect. The, the point that comes with Enzo effect. Because I've seen the Colin Gallagher effect. The, 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 oh, the point, I've seen the, I seen the Colin Gallagher, Gallagher effect. effect is getting overstated the, the now, point, bro. The point like, that because he, he run. Whoa, nah, my God, that's fool. That's guy. The point that comes making is when you make, like, obviously, like Enzo, it was a buyout clause. And f let's oh, forget. Dude. Wait, 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 wait. Technicalities. No, no, no. Because we're gonna go into we're gonna go. Technicalities. We're gonna go into that TV. Like, but when you buy like a marquee midfielder, typically your marquee midfielder is supposed to be transformative to what your team is. Like Declan Rice, you bring Declan Rice in, you see something. Bruno What's Fernandes. Caicedo not wait, more money than him, by wait, the way. Wait, wait, wait. Let, where's the Caicedo wait. effect? Wait. <laughs> Aye, where's wait. the Caicedo effect, wait. bro? Every week, Enzo. Where's the Caicedo effect, bro? Bro, mm. Caicedo hasn't played as long as. Oh, uh, Caicedo as was in the league, bro. But he hasn't played as long as Enzo. No, hold on. Enzo was part of the. We always the Caicedo, 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 nah, Caicedo was Caicedo's supposed to be part of the. The right. No, no, yeah, but Enzo, Enzo was there last season nah, too. Nah, bro. bro. Enzo's well, is bullying for you wait, now, bro. Wait, wait, let me finish it. This is bullying for you, bro. Let me finish the point I'm making as well. With with Bruno when he initially came in, you saw like a difference. <laughs> so like I get the way you're saying that like, ultimately you want to see the difference. I feel like when you watch Enzo, Enzo does do some key activities, but you're saying it's not enough. I understand what the understand the point you're making. It's not enough. We need to see more. You need to run games. It's Shelby, like Shelby. <laughs> 
Like Shelby. <laughs> you man wasted, yeah. Chelsea are so funny. They actually wasted a collector's <laughs> item in a Raheem Sterling free kick goal. That's like, but you yeah. know, back in the day, we used to co- that, collect no, that um, was, wrestling, no, you know wrestling stickers you know and you would pull out a shiny Triple you know H. Was? That was a, you know, it was. You know, you, know, you, know, you know an ultimate team? What? That was yeah. an ultimate team free kick. That's what I'm saying, it's rare. <laughs> that was an ultimate team free kick. Bro, it's, it's but, crazy. But I wanted to get into this. With this Enzo conversation, we're talking about big signings, transformative players, right? First and foremost, for like a big fee. Let me let me ask, let me ask, let me ask you a question. Enzo doing this at Man United. No, let me let me, Kyle, let me ask you a question. He will be called a bum. No, but you are are calling him a bum. That's I my point. Yeah, no, I haven't said he's a bum. This is what's annoying me about Enzo. He's overrated. That's what he is. But no, but no, but you guys overrated. People are pretending. I said it from the day I saw him. I was like, oh yeah, he's good. Fair. Yeah, people are pretending. People are pretending that like Enzo doesn't get shit. Every week on Twitter, I scroll. Yes, he does, bro. Everyone's talking about Enzo. Enzo, Enzo, nah, Enzo. Nah. Your we algorithm, get it now. You're typing in out Enzo in the search bar <laughs> too much. Nah. Your algorithm's tapped, right, let's, your algorithm's let's, tapped let's, bro. Let's Girl focus talks. on this. Let's, I want to quickly go through this, right? I'm catching in up on Messi's angels, bro. That's what I'm doing. In bro. terms of like Yo. big sign, like a big fee, for you, what is a big fee supposed to sign you as a footballer? What, what are you supposed to get? I mean, it depends, isn't it? Like, it depends on the player. All right, depends cool. On the, the let's let's go through this. So this is the top 10 most expensive Premier League signings of all time. I want to just get like a yes or no, whether the fee for that player was worth it or not. Yeah? Fair? Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments what you think as well. So Jaden Sancho from Dortmund to Manchester United. <laughs> flop. I don't yeah, know if I'm let you finish. Flop. <laughs> That's the biggest flop on the list. I don't care who you name next. Flop. I, I, I think I disagree with you. But Harry Maguire. Uh, for the price, it was overpriced. Yeah. So overpriced. A flop? flop, I wouldn't, it's just there. Okay, cool. Guardiola, too soon. No, too soon. Too, too soon. soon. Yeah. So far, so good though. Anthony. Yeah, oh. <laughs> See, I got, gotcha. <laughs> Hold on, I'm in a play. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Um, Paul Pogba to United. Mm, yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Is he a flop? Uh, I don't know if he's his flop, but I would say yeah, a, bro. He was the uh, world you record. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? No, though? I'm not, I like that. I like that he said that though. You see what I'm saying? Enzo's, Pogba's a, fl- Enzo's a flopper. I don't disagree. My point is like similar to the Pogba thing. I think people are looking at him like, what is he supposed to be? Pogba was a world record uh, transfer, bro, and well, he came in to save United. That was and the expect the expectancy. And Enzo, I, I, if we go to Enzo, I would call him a flop right now too. Yeah, cool. Pogba sixteen seventeen his first season compared really, to no, Enzo. Pogba has been a better <laughs> signing. I'm not going to disagree with that. <laughs> did, um, did you think Enzo is getting half the attention? No, but no, he didn't. He isn't. But, but he also he's beast. not as good a player as Pogba. He's not it's as good a player as Pogba. It's a different beast. He's, he's not on the jumbo all the time, man. Enzo is not one fifth the talent of Pogba, bro. Fair enough. That's what 100 million gets you nowadays, right? Romelu Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku. No, we're gonna get to, to we're gonna get to one of your guys soon, oh, by the way. Yeah? <laughs> Rom, we're gonna Romelu, get to one of your guys Lukaku, soon, by the way. <laughs> Lukaku to Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Lukaku to Chelsea. Flop. Lukaku, yeah, of course. Massive flop. All right, cool. Casado to Chelsea. Flop. So jury, jury, jury's out. Flop so far. Flop, flop so far. Declan Rice to Arsenal. Everything. Hmm. Declan Rice to Arsenal. So Success so far. Success. Jack Grealish to Manchester City. Trouble winner. Success. Success. Shouldn't have been that price, but right, what's what's Jack Grealish's impact on winning football games? Didn't bro? you see last season? When the closing, when it was time to close for Man City last season, Jack Grealish stood up. Yeah, you know I'm saying he stood up. Oh, wait, hold on. Did, did Grealish play against Arsenal this season? He didn't. Arsenal. Oh, they lost. My did Grealish God. play against? Liverpool? Yo, when it, yo, it's looking like when Grealish ain't in the. Spot. Right, a toothpick changes everything. <laughs> but when it's Bournemouth, a man are getting four assists and all them things. Well, <laughs> all right, when the big dogs come to town. Oh, man. This is winning cool. bias, by the way. That's La- winning L- bias. Last trouble but- winner. How can you tell me a trouble winner is a flop? <laughs> Last but not least, end of Enzo Fernandez. <laughs> well, Calvin Phillips is, a, is, is in a flop then, by the way. Yeah, but he didn't have any contribution. Oh, but he's a trouble winner. He didn't have <laughs> any, any contribution. Winning bias. He didn't have <laughs> any contribution, bro. I say that to say, with most of this list, like... So wait, why is Enzo top? He's not the most expensive, is he? I think he is. In Euros, yeah, he is. More than Greece. Enzo is more expensive than Caicedo. Yeah. We're on the we same, bro. 115, 110, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so wait... Enzo's the most expensive player in the Premier League history. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You lot are both sick, man. Well, I see he's a flop. Right. I got my flop. No, no, you man are both sick. Well, I've been, tra- I've been don't trying to- Go g- back where Fuad is, bro. You man are both <laughs> ill. You man are both ill. You man are defending this. I'm tra- I've been trying I'm to get a word in. Yeah, I've called him a flop. I've been trying to get a word in. People, people think he's better than Can Williams. you list the names of players again? So, Sancho. number 10, we are Jordan Sancho. He's the most criticized player we've, we've seen. Maguire, well, well, Maguire is the most criticized player we've seen. Sancho, he has a lit- literally a meme made after him. Um, Jack Grealish, cooked every single week. Lukaku, laughing stock of fo- world football. All these names. But hey, Anthony. Enzo Fernandez. A- Anthony, the Pog- hate that he Pogba, gets. Pogba. 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 But, but, let's, hey, but let's cuddle Enzo. Because Enzo, he won the World Cup with Messi. <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, don't try it, bro. Don't try it. All of them <laughs> names on them list, except from Caicedo, get cooked every single And Vardio. And Vardio, yeah. yeah. But, but and Declan want, Rice. But you want, you, yeah, if Declan Rice would have, if he didn't perform. <laughs> but you guys want to cuddle Enzo I'm not Fernando. cuddling him, bro. I'm, I'm telling saying, you, I think you guys... until I see more from him than I've seen from Jonjo Selvi, I'm going to continue I don't, I don't, I don't right, think cool. we're ever going to get what you want from Enzo. Um, so that's my I've got, I've got a question from both of you. boy as well. I see. He's been I've, poor too. I, w- I would call him a flop too. Liaz gets away with murder, people. Well, how? <laughs> this ain't SDS. We call him out on this show. We call him out. He gets away with murder on this show. You know what I mean? He gets away with murder. SDS on the I've top got, dog. Got, <laughs> that's, a, that's a SDS on the top dog. <laughs> SDS, I come in with my, my turn on the <laughs> I got Fuizzi over there. <laughs> I love food. Hey, don't kill me. Yo. The question, from a, from a manager perspective, Cam, as someone that's been critical on Pochettino, we've seen, would you say it's a trend that we've seen with his reigns at clubs where when it's the big games, he can get sunk out because, you know, his standard football works. But when it's standard games, low buck and everything, it's looking still. Is there a situation that if Chelsea keep going, that he's in trouble come January? Because a lot of Chelsea fans are saying, boy, listen, you've got those, you look, the draw and the win against the thing, it's cute and whatnot, but brother... What, what, right now, five losses. What do you think? Because it's, it's, it depends on, obviously, if Bowley's patient or not. I, th- probably, I think, to be fair, I wouldn't sack I wouldn't I, sack points. Me, you know, just me I, I wouldn't. I think, ultimately, it can, it can get very uncomfortable, though. Because if you look at how we're looking at, there is like a leak over from last season. But the uncomfortable conversation is, are Chelsea much better than we were last season? What are you saying? So bring back Potter. No, I'm just saying, no, are we? You are better than you were last Are we season, much bro? better? Yes. Are we much? You not, guys literally, the, it's, we're talking about the floor. You guys are are higher than the floor. So what? Because we're Where standing. Where they last season at this point? Bro, last season, I think Enzo, uh, again, granted, he has 19%. Bro, he had like 4% last year, bro. Oh, put, put Chelsea this have improved a lot since last Chelsea season, Chelsea have bro. won two no, more no, games. No, no. Chelsea, I think so. I Chelsea think. have won two more games than Luton Town this year. It's uncomfortable. No, but okay. If we're looking at performances, they at least look yes, until the no, hundred percent. I'm saying like that, but in terms of like, we're year. still waiting for it. Chelsea's still waiting for it to click. And excuses, we're still waiting for it to click. Newcastle have injuries out and whatnot. It's clicked. I th- I th- Spurs, okay, they've got injuries now and whatnot. They're losing and whatnot. But in the moment, it clicked. How long do you wait for it to click? Is I, the question. I, that's that's a, that's down to the chairman. But at the same time, I think if you spend the money that you spent, you have to see. Yes, it I out. hope the the expectation hasn't changed. Chelsea need to get top four. Chelsea have to oh, get Champions League football. You can't be spending billions. There's, there was then, talk. There was talk yo. that came out which said that the board are expecting Champions League football. Fifth place gets you Champions League. Right now, Does it? We are, English teams have to do well in Europe. Well, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. There's, there's a potential. <laughs> <laughs> but if you think about it, I think we. There was a moment where I was like, "How? Why are we so far away from United? United might be like nine points ahead. Mm-hmm. Of Eight points ahead of you guys. How much? Eight. Eight points. Eight. You, see, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now the, the pack has already sailed away. You mm. now have to go on a run to get yourself in contention. Yeah. We've seen teams like Villa do it last season, mm-hmm. but there was a draw, like, there was a line in the sand That's where it's like, it's it's enough is enough. Mm-hmm. We're going on the march. Can I say Chelsea can do that without a striker that can guarantee me 10 Premier League you, goals? You, I don't know. This season, for me, again, you, I feel like every, you have everyone has a temper expectations for Chelsea this season as a whole. Mm. This team isn't making top four, bro. The, the age of the squad, there are going to be several bumps along this season where the club is like, you're expecting young players to give you consistency. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Now, if Pochettino is really your guy, in my opinion, this season should be like a blank slate for him. And then <laughs> next season is when you start uh, judging him. If this is a project, bro, I hate you, you're going to have to go you, through the bad can you have... and, and when you sign this many young players and don't really buy experience around it, you are expecting bad uh, bad forms in the season. I hundred percent agree with you, but this is where it comes the whole. So I, I would say that this is not the same. This is not the same Chelsea it used to be. First and foremost, mm-hmm. our home record can tell you that. But when you're looking at a team that spends that much, can you spend that much and then have a blanket season? You spent one billion pounds to have a blanket season. If I bring up the, the signings that's been made in the Bowley era, I think that twelve or thirteen of them are not even at the club. But we're anymore. talking about these players. We don't rate any of or for the most part, we're not like raving about any of these players, bro. So, agreed. So then what does that mean? So you spent the money for no reason. But we know that. Someone said nah, it's that you, just, you know in contactless when you just go tap 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 tap. You look at you're looking at the, the Barclays out, you're thinking, <laughs> Raw, what, man, what, what man did that in- But guys are still talking about oh they need to go buy Mania for 70 million, they need to go buy Ossiman for over hundred million. Chelsea aren't done spending, bro. This current iteration of the well, team is not good enough to expect them to just suddenly win 10, 15 games in a row and make top four. Not I in agree. my opinion. It's, it's uncomfortable, but it's it's I don't think I don't think it can get much worse. But 
Oh, that- it can. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. You got short term memory loss, bro? It, <laughs> it can get worse. It, 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 re- it really, really can. Yeah. Look, you're going to need patience. That's it. That's 100%. It. And there's 100%. nothing more you can do. Yeah, yeah. You have spent a billion in, yeah. a, in a senior web. You've yeah. gotten a new manager. Yeah. You've got a new D- D- DOF. You've gotten yeah. everything. Yeah. There's nothing more you can do. Yeah. You can't throw more money at this. Yeah. Do you, you know can't, what this, what, people are saying, oh, we need another strike. You can't you just can't, throw money at it. You you're going to need these guys to literally be like, like what's the word um they're gonna need to be like i don't know what the word i'm trying to say though it's like in sync sorry in sync like <laughs> this guy's vocabulary just sorry, like sync, buffered bro <laughs> literally you're gonna need to be in sync with each other like yeah. they're gonna need to play with each other so much that they just yeah. know each other's movements blah, 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 blah. Sorry, but bro. i do think <laughs> fucking yeah. that's it damn fuck <laughs> but come to the point you're making yeah this is where for me it's worrying because you goofies are meant to be like oh that word <laughs> you goofies are looking so, at so, like, before, so, like, so, like, so like obviously there's, there's more stuff we need to talk about but this is where i worry right because at the moment you've got a, fo- a front three that you're sticking with obviously none doesn't look like your 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 kettle of fish or whatever you've got your midfield that you're trying to settle with the the back four partnerships reese james has not played three consecutive games since 2021 he's that that's a real stat huh that's not a real stat that's not a real stat. Or whatever it is. Yeah, he hasn't played a lot. Him and, Re- him and Ben Chilwell, who was supposed to be a captain, vice captain, mm-hmm. haven't played consecutively for Chelsea mm. for a long time. So that's part of it gone. Chelsea is still in this moment where, okay, when Nkunku's fit, how does he fit into our identity and how does that change? Mm-hmm. So we're then going to have another few games where we're working that out. Nkunku's and that eats into your season. Top, it's not even for me. I'm looking, when Lavia comes in, what is the midfield three? If your midfield three is Lavia, Enzo and Caicedo. I'm sorry, that's not moving me, bro. Is it not? Lavia, Ca- going for, no, okay. I think individually, again, they all bring certain qualities, but as a three. Mm. That don't move me. But if Lavia is your water carrier, Casado we can does the combative stuff, and then Enzo then has the free. That midfield three ain't moving me, bro. No, I'm just asking in terms of your profiles. No, I'm telling you, the profiles together do not move me. How about Lavia, (laughs) Casado, Galadog, and (laughs) how about Lavia, Casado, and then maybe like an Unkunku is that in or that would be a little more. You need some. You need. Let's not forget Gallagher at Crystal Palace. This guy's doing anything again. Yeah, Gallagher at Crystal Palace. I'm going Gallagher in a more offensive role, getting in the box, third man running, and then I'm getting Lavia and Casado, Enzo. Just sit and watch. This is the question I ask. Can you, you do, do that, with Pogba? Play him on the left. Yeah. <laughs> left wing zone. <laughs> can you do that? To, the question is, can you do that to Enzo? Though? For how much Bro, you signed him for? Who knows, man? Do to you be fair, they done it to Madrid. Yeah. But listen, man. Chelsea, we have to hold. I hold on. Vax. We're not going to stop Newcastle. By the way, yeah, listen, man. Let's be, Bro, credit where credit shoot. Anthony James Gordon. They tried to laugh easy. at him. They tried to laugh at Anthony Gordon. Can mm. can we? Now, yeah, he, to be fair, to me, I'm, I'll be honest. Yeah, Anthony Gordon's one of them players that I, I never, I, I, I didn't like get, that. I got it wrong with Anthony Gordon. <laughs> now I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, he's the one off, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Gordon, you know what it is, yeah. Um, I don't get twisted. I'm not gonna sit here and say he's some fantastic. He's got good fundamentals, player, but bro, he's he's much better than I thought. You know, Same, when I yeah. saw him, I thought he was just what well, some average guy. But he's a good player. I don't, want, I don't want to liken it, but you know when Leicester were performing really well mm. and you had a Harvey Barnes who gave good fundamentals. Good good, good fundamentals. And it was just like consistent. You can yeah. rely on him to just do what he's good at. Mm-hmm. And hopefully if he's in the right mood, it comes with goals in the yeah. I, can't, I can't lie though. I think you're, I think you're underrating Gordon. I think he's more No, 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 than, no, no. I'm, than not, just I'm, that. I'm just saying bro, he's, I'm saying he's foundation. Cre- even creatively, bro. Like, I think Gordon is a much, I, I completely agree with you. Mm. I didn't view this guy as like a special kind of talent whatsoever. Mm. He's, he's a lot better than I think. And I think he still has levels to go as well. No, hundred percent. And I think the profiles that he manages to play with and whatnot, they, mm. they've got a good thing there. Mm. And again, like we said, they had injuries, man. What people are going to yeah, tell bro, me. They have one of the most injured squads in the league. Remember 100%. they were beefing Kieran Chirpia. He's like, how many injuries you got? How many injuries you got? Hey, how about big Jamal LaSalle's, by the way? Hi. Yeah, he was, hey, trying, he was trying to ca- throw the game. Ca- captain, he to, he leader, legend. Game. He was trying to throw the game, but, but I mean, to, only, goal, to only concede one goal and it yeah. was not from open play, you've got to give him his credit, man. Um, but yeah, Chelsea hold that. Big up Newcastle as well. I mean, they're managing to compete on different fronts. Let's see if they can manage to try and get yeah. through that Champions League group. Um, Villa, top four. Emery, mm. another one. Are you, so you said that you got the golden one wrong. Villa, yeah. come, let's have a conversation. No, no, with the rights with Villa, yeah, it's not even about Villa necessarily, like them as a team. They've been mm. doing their thing all see, all year. Mm. Right? Yeah, you know I'm trying to say, but you know when you just see some teams, they sign a lot, of, not a lot of players, sign mm. players, and everyone says they win the transfer window, and you're just like, ah, you know, what I'm trying to say, yeah, right, whatever. They're just gonna probably just fade away, which mm. they might still do. You never know. Mm. But they're they're Villa are a proper team, bro, a proper team. And I don't know, people 
seem to want to see Emery fail and stuff. And people are keen to say he's not a top manager, not an elite manager, blah, blah, blah. He failed at Arsenal, he failed at PSG, whatever, bro. He's got this Villa team looking crazy and they're looking like they could do a Newcastle, bro. And they really can. They're sitting in the top four. 22 wins or 23 wins in 2023, which is mad. I think it's Third Aston Villa. Best in league. I think it's the Aston Villa record. Bro, Villa are just a very, very patterned team. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So... Got, got, got Spurs up out of there. You know what I mean? Well, Three L's in a row for Spurs. But guess what, Ange? Just do it, mate. Just do it. That's you know what I mean? horrible Australian, uh, Australian accent. <laughs> no, it's, um, you give us one. It's, um, it's a accent. It's the accent. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, when you put it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you get when I put it like that, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's someone I want to highlight. Um, Ollie Watkins, man. We constantly have conversations about players that, you know, pop numbers. I think since it's been the Premier League, he's hit double figures four seasons in a row. He just continues to do that. Great he player, is. Mate. We um we often have this conversation about mid table players that are just proven tested they'll do it for you. The Zahas, yeah. the Watkins, the, these sort of personnel is that are just gonna get you goals. That and I respect it because that is a foundation for them to build on. Mm-hmm. Watkins might get us 12, 13. The RB, do you want to join the party? Mm. Um Douglas Luiz, your, your scoring goals uh, he's on that helps us. craziness this goals year, huh? Home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking he, of Fuizzi, I was just dissing him. Bro, Fuizzi in our SDS uh, group, he has he's in the top 3,000 for highest FPL score. Douglas Luiz, bro, is just hooping for him, bro. That's yeah, because he's, he's scored, he's, he scored six com- consecutive goals at home. I think there was a lot of pens got, there. He's scoring but, pens and stuff. But his performances, bro. have he's leveled up. We always talk about McGinn being the one yeah. Now it's McGinn and Louise. You've got something to build up from there. They lost Tyron Mings. I know people are not fond of him, but that was a leader that there. Mm. Defensively, they're still doing all right. You Villa get me? Just, bro, Emery's pattern, just man. doing a, This is the stuff that Emery's done. Though. Like, Emery's man. done it at Villarreal. He's done it at Sevilla. You know what I'm trying to say? He's, this just, there's just this type of manager. He goes to these type of clubs and he can gal- galvanize mm. them. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, hey, man. listen, Spurs, free back to back. I know lucky. you're watching. Actually, he might be sleeping, to be fair. Yeah, to he's, not yeah, he's, he's not feeling well. He's not feeling well. I, 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 I mean, can't lie. Fuad, you will come Abdullah. back into this I think building. Fu- I think Fuad kind of expected this, though, mm. right? Like, Fuad expected hype. Expect hype. You expect hype. It. You're still... X- XG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. XG. Smoke, XLs. Sure. Expected <laughs> losses. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you can expect it, but this is the reality. This is the reality. But the expected yeah, is here. I, what I would say about Spurs today, like, they actually played pretty well, I thought. Yeah, I, I think th- this is what I kind of thought when, because everyone was saying even before the injuries that, oh, eventually he's going to slow down of end or whatever, yeah. just relax. I always said that even if he loses players or even if players fall down to the mean, the style of play, the identity will, will still be there and it'll be like the lack of individual quality that's going to be his downfall. I think that's kind of what you're seeing right now. Like they played good football that first mm. half, bro. Yeah. First of all, that game was insane for a neutral in terms oh, of like yeah. both sides playing high lines. Back you know, both sides just kind of want to go for it. There yeah. wasn't crazy pressing. You got a lot of chances. What a son, I think he scored three goals that were offside. Yeah. yeah. So it was a great game for a neutral. But when you have guys like in the back uh, four, they're playing four, four full backs in that, the back four today. That's what, um, Davies. Emerson Morel. The Emerson one thing Morel. is I think you could probably criticize uh, Ange for maybe a continued <clears throat> lack of like, um, like a continued naivety about him mm. in terms of like he's going into these games it's like okay it's my way or the highway mm. like I think at this point especially when you have those kinds of players out on the pitch you saw from Ten Hag last season you saw from mm. Arteta at the beginning you have to be a bit more pragmatic mm. but, but in terms it, of his style of play bro it's I think there's a recipe there that he's shown when he has his players that he can they're going to be yeah, okay bro they're going to be okay he's got, na- 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 he's got to navigate through these injuries, 100% bro. that's the bro. problem like I'm, as we always say we, we commend, this is till yeah. January December is sticky it's till January and then even in January you lose the two, obviously, the two players that were missing, Basuma and Saturday, they're mm. missing in January. Well, you, got, so, you, got, you rate his, you rate his style, you rate yeah. his, the, his personality the way he is. Yeah. But bro, when you got these injuries, um, <laughs> we've seen it with Man United. We've lost games, but we still win games, and is yeah. is what it is. But bro, you can't lose three in a row. No, you yeah. gotta navigate your way through this. You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna have to just find a way. To, to, to get through this hey, moment, big up Fred you know Fred said so, he's yeah. watching we miss you bro get well he's soon he's watching yeah mm, oh, yes, man. you have some pepper soup mm. there, man. <laughs> you know you want to hold licks today man said oh, I'm, I'm shit yeah, let, man, let Maze get cooked shout out my let Maze guy. defend his oh, team my but guy, listen man, man um, let's go super chats and then we go champs and duds man yeah, 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 I don't know if we have that many, but let me check. Real Let's quick. go through, man. Even if they're not many, man, we got to give the people uh, they want to hear their voices up. Oh, they're, hold on, they're cooking Enzo. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my people, them. That's my people, them. <laughs> hey, I'm going to read them, bro. How you read them, bro? Read them, bro. <laughs> read them, read them. Read them. Um, 
Lamine C says Enzo can't cook. We got rice at home. Mm. He's got buzz. He's got buzz. Uh, Juice Sauce says let Cam's land. Enzo has been shocking given the price. He's barely done anything for this club. Let me land. Shout R out to R Nippy. RN proving to be one of the worst Prem signings. Oh, right now proving to be one of the worst Prem signings. Schaefer Smith says Enzo worse than Arthur in the Prem and that guy didn't play last year. Mm, S says if Enzo can get hype after one game, he can hold smoke. Mm, MTV says Enzo <laughs> needs to learn how to dictate play like Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Massim says, "What's the difference between Will Smith, Will Hughes, and Enzo?" <laughs> Massim, Ma right, Will yeah. Hughes, you're taking a piss. It's <laughs> like seven super chats in a row. Bro. That's go, what I'm bro. saying, though. Like, if everyone keeps saying, "Why can't we talk about?" It? Everyone's talking about nah, Enzo, nah. bro. Look at these defenders, bro. It's not defenders, defenders, but like, this is getting bro. bullying at this point, nah, bro. It's not, no, it's not bullying. Maguire was bullying. This is getting close to yeah. it. You, you, you were part of that. Whoa, never, well, never, yeah. never, never, yeah. never, never, never. Don't he do that to me. He just wants to defend Enzo. He doesn't want to defend Pogba. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Me, I didn't want to defend Pogba. Mm. Mm. I don't do that. It's don't joke with that. Yeah, this yeah, was when I was in New York. Y'all don't know about my history with Pogba. This guy wants to defend Sancho. It's quite interesting. That's different. That's different. It's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Don't don't bring up Pogba with me. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, right. remember, remember, hey, hey, Sky ain't never gonna hit me on this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember the Ronaldo and Frankie thing That's after the goal? They did this. <laughs> That's right, what listen, it is, man. bro. What Let's go champs and duds, man. Do you guys? Aye, that's crazy. In the, in the, in the, that's right. Let us know in the comments if you've got any champs and duds. We're gonna, Leah's will read some out. Um, by, by the way, that guy who was talking about the fifty million pound release clause, he just came back. Yes. He said when Bernardo signed his new contract, they put a fifty million clause, and it's probably for him to go to Barcelona sooner or later. Oh, okay. So maybe just to go to Barca, it's gonna be fifty million. How long is Fing? How long is Fing out for? The rest of the season, isn't it? Who Gavi? Yeah, yeah, he's out for a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's out for the whole season. Ah, they're broke regardless, down. though, bro. Gavi yeah. or no Gavi, they can't come afford champs. 50 million. Yeah, come, let's go, champs. Um, I want to give a champ to Luton Town. Um, I like the way they navigate in the league. You you mentioned that if they manage to stay out, that shows the standard of the league. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I respect that they understand what the Premier League is and they're doing it the traditional way. Mm. <laughs> you have to get your points where you can and you accumulate points mm. over time. And obviously, they've got some Ross Barkley, Andrews Townsend. They understand. They're not trying to do what certain men who are my duds are. I'll get into my duds later. They're not trying to do what set man are doing, but mm. Luton Town, you get my champ of the week. I respect it. He's Good yours. win. At least his goal was Let bad as well. <clears throat> bad boy goal. That was a Let bad boy goal, but yeah. I don't know about my champ, you know. Ganacho? I think I'm prepared from, with, my, with my champ. Yeah, you got to give it Ganacho for that. Yeah, yeah. That overhead kick yeah. is worthy of a champ of the week, bro. Yeah. So yeah, I'll give that might be in the Puskas Award. You never know. Probably could, could win it. it yeah, That's probably a, could win it. That's so, huge. That, the steal of it is just so crazy, man. That's an advert in itself. Yeah, literally. He's going to, bro. Sky going to use that for Christmas. He's going to, bro. Oh, he's married. Can't say what I was going to say. He's going to send it in snap DMs. Bro, if listen. I said, I said, if it was me, <laughs> go on, Leah, here's your champ. champ of the week uh, to the, the guy that made his debut for AC Milan at 15 years old. Like, oh, if he goes yeah. on to have a great career, bro, making your debut at 15 years born old. Born in 2008. That's 2008. That born in 2008, boy. That's, 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 like, a damn, that's like a damn to yeah, in reverse, bro. Safeguarding, please. Safeguarding, mm. please. When it, was, when it was Ethan <laughs> Naweri. Mm. Safeguarding, please. Um, All right, cool. Should yeah, we go to Duds? Yeah, go to Duds. Okay, cool. It hurts me to do this, but. Who do people saying for champs? Yeah, who, what have we got the in there? Let's twist off their champs. Uh, the chat is saying Havertz champ. Not a sympathy champ. Yeah, allow it, man. <laughs> Ajax champ. They, they're on a, a good winning run. Yeah, uh, Akpom's doing well for them now that he's settled. Yeah, Big yeah. That, that's really all they're saying for now. Sweet. Um, my dud. Um, I don't know if this brings me great sadness to do this or not, but ultimately support black business and whatnot, all of that <laughs> stuff. But Vincent Company, you are the dud of... The week. He's a dud of can, the season, can, can Vince and company win some games, please? Uh, Dar Dar Darren Moore. Should, should we have conversations? Darren no, Moore. Can you respect Darren Moore putting him in the same conversation? No, Vince and no, no, company no, 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 belongs but, with <laughs> the worst manager in the history of the Premier League. Yeah. Frank DeBoer. Mm. <laughs> no, but obviously, because you know what it's like when there's very few of us, we have to have conversations, mm. isn't it? Darren Moore. In his tenure, he saying he got sacked for for less. He got sacked for less. He won Manager of the Month, I think it was. He, he got won, some. He won Man City, the Premier League. He won. Some, he had us. some big results. Remember that? We're yeah, talking yeah, about hench bold guys mm. on, on on the touchline. <laughs> Vin Man we're talking about hench bold. Vincent Company, can you win some games, please? Like there was a there was a great podcast that came out. <laughs> I think it was Connor Cody, and he was talking about this clip where when they got promoted, right? 
the first thing that they said to him was, yeah, when we get to Premier League, we have to drop our line 10 yards. Mm. Vincent Company, you played in this league for how long? Mm. You battered teams. Can you please apply some common sense? Mm. Don't be stubborn, please. Or do you want to just go and get job seekers allowance? Because what, what's going on here? It's true. L- Leah said that Paul Lynch did a better job in the Premier League. Bro, facts, bro. Hey, oh, Vincent wait, Company. Yo, what? So what, Fergie's disciples? That's what I'm saying. Bro, the, no one wants to talk about Pep's, <laughs> no one wants to talk about Pep's students anymore, bro. Vinny bro. Company is one of the, has an argument to be the worst coach in Premier League history. But we want to talk about Pep's students. Stop, bro. Yo, hey, flipping Fergie's disciples were good, honest, hard men, they, they love working Steve men Bruce. in Premier League. Steve Bruce, yeah. Mark Hughes, Mark Hughes first. Paul Lintz. Good, hard working All men, men bro. <laughs> Good hard work in men. Uh, you know bro. what they're going to try doing, though? They're going to try offloading Company to Mancini or, uh, mm. <laughs> or his Pellegrini's disciple. Yeah, I, bet they're trying to, I bet they're trying to claim Javi Alonso for Pep mm. Disciple. Now, he's, uh, we're giving him to Benitez. <laughs> they're giving him to nah, Benitez. He's, he's like, you know them guys that went to different universities? Yeah, they yeah, learned. yeah, he went to Benitez. He did um, no international program. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, Vincent Company, you have to be my dad, man. What I'm seeing, bro, Ben, you know, not, oh, come on, man. I've not seen anything like this. Yeah. They're deliberately saying, we shall not be moved. We're going to do what we're going to do. And you will get relegated. Oh, it's peaks. You will listen when you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> you will listen when you're dead. It's peak. They are my duds of the week. Yeah. Um, I, duds, and Chelsea. Yeah. I mean, duds. I don't even know if it's really even a dud situation. It was funny as hell anyway. The Brazil-Argentina game. <laughs> that, 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 that shit was funny. Um, and the fact that the game was so mid as well. I mean, Brazil are duds for me, man. What I was going to say This that, generation, yeah. man. That you guys are. This, what is this, man? And this is what I said last time, bro. Like, I said last time, like, where are these guys... From the favelas. Where are these guys... Yeah, they're, they're not from the favelas no more. Where are these guys learning football? You know what gentrification, I'm saying? Is, man. I don't know. Is Brazil getting a bit more well off or something? Are they playing on Astro, <laughs> Gentr- are they playing on Astro and stuff now? I don't know I, because I, I, Neymar, he needs to stop giving back to the hood because maybe he's giving them boots and stuff. Before they used to play barefooted. You know what I mean? Barefooted, run around, doing skills. It was all lovely. Maybe... Maybe Neymar providing to the hood too much because we need You're to get some nuts. serious. You're saying there's not enough th- poverty in Brazil. Bro, we need. We need I need no, some I th- poverty. I th- I give, think if that's poverty, <laughs> give me that. I need. <laughs> some, I need some poverty. I need some more poverty. I think, I think what Cam is saying is we're we're, we're going to see. We're, it's the truth though. We're, we're getting too many. You know what I mean? Like. Guys, that yeah, you know I mean, they're coming in. They ain't got no flair. They're very European, and that they're getting grabbed from yeah. Brazil at a young age. I need some guys in yeah, Brazil. Really I'll be, I'll be real. We, come, we've, we've gone from Oh Maria to what's the the new one? The name oh, of oh, oh, Yeah, no, let's yeah, go back to the old shit. Yeah, yeah, let's put yeah, the old bro, shit bro, back. Bro, bro, down, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitting, bro. They ain't hitting, yeah, bro. Yeah. Nah, bro. But I'll be real, right? <laughs> this is, this is one of the wor- that was one of the worst Brazil teams I've, I've seen put out, right? Like. I was just looking at some of those players, and people, <laughs> Arsenal fans got defensive. I, I'm not even going to talk about the Arsenal players, because I actually, Martinelli was actually one of their better players, in my opinion. But I'm looking, and no disrespect to these players. All right, no. Hold on, let me finish. Emerson Royale, Carlos Augusto, who's not mm. even Inter's first choice left back. Mm. He's their second. No disrespect to these guys again. Douglas Luiz is not Brazil standard Joe for me. Linton. Joe Linton is not Brazil <laughs> standard for me. Come. These players don't belong in, like, again, they're good Premier League players. But Brazil? Yeah. This is, you know, Brazil? You know, back in the day. You know, back in the day. Brazil? We're talking about Brazil? Back, in the, Do- back in the day. Brazil? I don't care how much. I was just talking about how good he's been for Villa. <laughs> Brazil? Back in the day, this was, you know what this is? This was, you know, the Confederations <laughs> Cup squad, stuff like that, mm-hmm. where you bring all of these guys, like, yeah. This is not, this is not, this should not be your destiny. Mm-hmm. The, the, the lineage of what Brazil is. And then and at the same time, they're out here losing at the Maracanã. That's the first, the first the time ever. The first, qualifi- ever. the first World Cup qualifier at the Maracanã they have ever lost. lost ever. Of course, it's going to be this generation, but I'm telling you, they're not the same, bro. They're, they're not, I don't know if this, where's the pride gone, bro. I don't bring, know what's bring going back on the Maracanã, man. Like, That's all what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying England have more hoopers than Brazil. This is blasphemy, bro. <laughs> this shouldn't be happening right, in football. Nuts. And what? I cool my oh, get that shit out of here. Bro, man. bring back, back Mascanado. Yeah. Mascanado. That was gonna, gonna be mine. Oh. I have again, I'm actually gonna go back to champs. I have one champ, one. Mbappe for hitting 300 career goals. He's now the youngest player ever to reach 300 career goals. So I'll give him that due. Yeah. And secondly, dud of the week is Germany, bro. Mm, you yeah, talk yeah. about countries that have you fell off, bro. Heart. The <laughs> last six years have been bad. Right now, they're in preparation to host the the, the Euros in a few Damn, months. Oh yeah, yeah they, bro, they might get dumped. They, they fired Flick. They brought in Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann is out here playing Kai Havertz at left back. Yeah. Yeah. Germany look awful. Bro, and you talk about awful. a country getting ready to. They don't look prepared whatsoever. Bro. Bro. It wouldn't bro. surprise there's, me there's, if there's Germany no... goes to the Euros in a few months and they crash out in the group. There's, bro. Yeah, hundred. I agree. There's no. We almost had a. We almost had a Declan Rice. 
next to Kobe Mane. Oh my <laughs> next to Jude <laughs> Bellingham. <laughs> next to then you got Musiala so coming in off the left. Foden and Saka. <laughs> Saka off the right with Kane. We, o- hey. we almost mm. hit the promised land. Oh Bam. my God. Bam. Uh, what was the name of the striker? Was it Fuck Beck or what his name that no, came? Fulk 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 and whatnot. Yeah, when I started seeing stuff like that, I said, yeah, man, this is... It's crazy, yeah, man, bro. That's German heritage, though. You know, you always get that random guy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's different. Like, know, that, that's heritage, man. Respect Voller, by the way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't put them in them as they... Fulk Respect Voller and then Bierhoff and those guys. Hey, listen, man. I think there's no business there. Listen. That is another episode of FCM. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. How many we got inside right now? Algorithm, oh, got 3.3 algorithm, K. algorithm. Three point three. Big old of you up. Listen, man. It was a it was a tough away fixture today, but we got through it. Make sure you smash got, the like button on the way. We've got another watch along. I think coming. As we've well. got another watch along. Man United, um, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, we've Phil got another watch along coming. So back? make. Sure it should be. Yeah, yeah, so make sure you Matisse, tune in for that. You bring your ass here too. Whoa. <laughs> you bring... Nah, pause on that. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you see what's wrong with these youths, bro? Nah, you would Man be on to me if I said point, that. Don't Man. point at the camera and tell him how to bring his ass. This Donny... <laughs> oh, this, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What are you going to point at me for? Donny it? out, he said, Ganacho has balls. <laughs> I let it slide, bro, because he was cooking. I let him cook. Now all of a sudden they want to pause. Hold on, it's, it's, it's wrong see, to say is, someone has balls, this bro. Is crazy, Everyone bro. has this balls. Is crazy. As I was Matisse, saying, bring you know, bring yourself. To bring, bring you yourself. Know. Bring yourself. Bring yourself. That doesn't sound much better, big man. Listen, bring yourself. Hey, that Make sure you're here. What do you want? What can we say? Make sure says? you're here, bro. <laughs> Listen, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you send through some get well soon messages. Yes. Make sure as well. Public service announcement. PSA. Follow our individual socials. Yes. Because there's a lot of good. Amazing flipping content coming up. The man that are taking over Sky Sports. The man that are taking over rival platforms. The man that are taking over everything. Basically, put it that way. This is the hottest show right now. You get me? Put it out there. <laughs> put it Listen, out man, there. Like, share, subscribe. We'll be back next week. Watch along. Come in. Hit the likes. So we got some. Some. We got some special stuff coming as well. See Christmas. Mm-hmm. Special guests too. Mm-hmm. 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 Things are cooking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not the docu cooking. Well, like Thanksgiving turkey Christmas. Mm-hmm. Big up Thanksgiving, the American supporters as well. Mm-hmm. Big up, hold up, you man. Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll be back next week in a bit. <laughs>